What's going on, everyone, and welcome to the Sons of Kojima podcast. We have a hell of a podcast, what we're ready for you tonight. But before we move on, I want to introduce all these mentally ill motherfuckers. So let's get started. We have Mr. Fred Fox. How you doing today, sir? Oh, you mean me? Well, uh, yeah. I'm doing well. I, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that everyone here is doing well because we have a hell of a podcast for everyone. Oh, hell yeah. Next, we have Lester. How's it going, dude? Yeah. All right. That's what going I like yeah. to hear. That's what I like to hear, especially from a woman. Next up, we have Nomad. How's it <laughs> going, dude? What's up, guys? All right, and the next mentally ill motherfucker we have is the one and only Lupo572. What's up? What's going on, guys? Lupo here. Beautiful. All right, and last but certainly not least, unless when he's playing Dota, we have Moogle. What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? All right. We have a hell of a show planned for you tonight. Well, thank you for the illustrious introductions, Mr. Che. I appreciate it. I'm sure the audience at home appreciated it too. We are indeed uh, mentally ill motherfuckers from uh, Phil himself. He's confirmed it. So uh, (laughs) I want to welcome everyone here. We've got a jam-packed episode for you. Two former mods. We have also have a big story that we wanted to break from the forums. We wanted to do our due diligence. We wanted to be responsible and research this story. Uh, It came in a little bit earlier this week. And we just wanted to make sure that we were able to talk to multiple people, figure out how this could happen, and figure out exactly what the ramifications of the story would be uh, if we are to actually post it. So we just want to make sure everything is kosher before we did it. We will break that a little bit later today with the relevant people that it involves. We're waiting for Mr. Revan. Uh, If you guys haven't seen on Twitter, Phil has uh, sort of asked Mr. Revan not to come on the podcast, so... We're going to see if we can connect with him. He already was going to be out uh, until, you know, a little bit later in the show because he had to go to the mall, apparently. So we're waiting for him. He said he was going to be here in about 20 to 30 minutes. If he does indeed come, he should indeed come because he said that he was a man of his word. And that's why he was going to come no matter what. So we will see. But there's one thing that we need to get to, as always, right off the top. Let's go ahead. And let's get the charity stuff out of the way now. Word. If you guys have not noticed, we posted on Twitter, I got an email from Charity Water. Mm. I think the lady's name was Nira. I'll just post it in the chat here. That's a sexy name. Yeah, right. So her name is Nina Nurema. And she says, quote, <laughs> Hi, Fred. I wanted to fill you in on a quick update. We overraised for our grant in Q1, which is quarter one. Which is awesome, all thanks to incredible campaigns like yours. Thank you. And had to move your campaign into quarter two. Committed grants to help fund water projects in the second quarter of the year. This means that we had to extend your campaign until the end of June, as seen here. She links uh, our charity page. And concludes with, we hope this works for you, and we sincerely appreciate your incredible effort. Always, Nina. And then the obvious uh, credentials and stuff like that. She is the fundraising community manager. So... As a result, our charity campaign was extended approximately 90 days. Um, so because we now have double the amount of time, we decided that we're going to double the amount of money. Um, we've already put out a Google Doc, which I will also link here in just a second. Uh, we also have a Google Doc where you guys can submit new charity challenges. We need new rewards from the plus 5,000 level all the way up until the 10,000 level, depending on, you know, what we can actually raise but Mm -hmm. um you know we're you know we're gonna try we're gonna try to see how much more we can raise we've got you know 97 days left i believe so we'll see what happens let me link this real quick and word in the chat boom yep so there you guys go you guys can submit different ideas uh for us to torture ourselves with i guess and speaking Anything. of what someone said in the uh, chat, he said, what can we make Che watch this time? Well, you know, <laughs> as a reward for us getting past 5,000. I haven't picked exactly what fucking bullshit hentai, but you will be seeing another Che reacts very soon. I promise that. Face cam, the whole shebang, same as before. I, I think I think we should make you watch a Crow documentary. Ooh. Listen, yeah. man. No. 
Cause I'm gonna jump into that. I'm gonna jump into that fucking laptop and beat the shit out that crow. <laughs> I'm gonna actually look that up. Anyone else got anything that. planned? I've been seeing some crazy I, actually, challenges actually, on the documents. Actually, uh, let me go ahead and segue into this because Uh-oh. this is actually an announcement from me personally. Um, I have two charity challenges I'm going to do when we hit 75k. Or mm. not 75k, sorry. 75,000 dollars. Seven, nice. $75,000, yes. No, I mean when we hit 7k. Now, um, for people that don't know, because there's obviously new people here um, that don't follow my YouTube channel, uh, I do Let's Plays on YouTube. I uh, I enjoy doing what I do, and uh, I love doing what I do. Um, and I recently, when I hit 800 subscribers, I did an LP tournament, which obviously the winner was Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, to be exact. But <laughs> the, there's there's some games that people wanted to see that were very upset about. Not many, not you know, everyone were too happy with the decision of the voting. But that's about to change when I hit 7K, because when I hit 7K, I'm going to do. Tales of Vesperia and Shadow of the Colossus as Let's Plays, but that's not over here. I'm gonna go and uh, go into talking about uh, what me and the SOK are going to be doing when we hit 7K. Hmm. Word. All right. So Fred already knows us because I told him about the ideas. But what? well, you're about to you're about to see this. All right. Mm-hmm. So at 7K, we're going to do a full full co-op let's play of the first borderlands and all the dlc select members will be will be doing this oh and, shit. and uh, the first on, one yeah the first one and i'm going to throw this out there if you don't have the game i will personally buy it for you guys wow oh, that is awesome dude we yeah. appreciate that man. and we will all machine gun moogle we will all do a co-op let's play of it and it's going to be fun for all, all of us it's not gonna be torture by all means i'm down but we're gonna give something back to you guys Damn. just remember just remember if all if anything goes to hell we leave fred behind <laughs> awesome thank you I'm, I'm just kidding so bro. we're not gonna include che obviously <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but, uh, that's awesome, man. Those 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 are the announcements. Um, they're nothing special. I was actually going to make a chari- another charity challenge, but I couldn't really think of one. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure people in the in the the Google Docs are probably going to add some ridiculous things. I've already seen there some are, really ridiculous ones. There are speaking, ridiculous ones. Speaking of charity challenges, Moogle actually uh, Moogle actually put this in there. And uh, Fred, I think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. that shit that I'm going to demolish you on? And, yeah, okay, hold on. Let me oh. explain it. Okay. Pretty soon, once we reach, how much was it? Uh, the current Google Doc lists. I think it was something like 6500 But anyways, you could see it. Once we reach that amount, okay, your boy will be personally battling Fred in a battle of the wits, the war of the words. It's we'll 7500 7500 me and Fred will have a fucking spelling bee, and I will show him how I get down. Yeah, I will show him what a community college education does for you. Yeah, you're gonna be down, all right. You're gonna be down seventy five points. All right. This is gonna be the easiest thing I've ever done. Oh, oh yeah, shot but the easiest thing. Shoot. Oh, okay, buddy. You better be ready for the fucking genesis, the antithesis, and the bullshit. Yeah. Wow. This is gonna be the genesis of you losing. This oh, is gonna be the oh, antithesis oh. of you winning. And oh. this is. Go- what? You're gonna eradicate me. <laughs> all right, Jay. <laughs> We will see. I I know that somebody put that we we're gonna play Scrabble, but uh, if this ruffian wants to uh, wants to take haste and uh, you know try to battle me, match wits, match the nomenclature in which I possess, this man will be eradicated himself. So I hope that this you know I hope that you prepare. How about that? I want the best possible Che here to go ahead and match wits with. I don't know. I'm skeptical. Right. Oh, you're skeptical. Listen, listen. Since everything knows how it's going now, okay? I will personally be on face cam to show that I will not be typing anything during the spelling bee so I won't look it up. Mm. <laughs> so uh, we'll get there when that boat crosses the fucking river, however you say it. Boat crosses the river. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, as, uh, as far as river boat crossings, I'd also like to say 
that uh, a sincere thank you to everyone who's been, uh, you know, donating, obviously, to get us this far. When the charity closed, we were already 300 over our target. So uh, that's just a testament to all you guys, your hard work, helping us promote this, obviously the donations. So thank you guys very much. And also, just looking over the list right now, thank you guys so much for giving so many different ideas. Um, if you guys want, we can sort of read through them. We've got a little bit of time to kill before Mr. God Revan. And that's right, Revan. I was pronouncing it Revan, but it's actually Same here. Revan. So before God Revan gets here. So uh, I guess we can read through some of these. Do you guys have the Google Doc as, as well so you can follow along? Yes, oh, sir. wait. the Oh, wait, hold on. The Google Doc. I don't have it yet. All right, I just linked it in the chat. Talking chats. about the audience. Oh. And it's in the audience. But anyways. <laughs> so these are some new ones that we have here. For $5,500, the SOK plays Cards Against Humanity. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm looking yeah, forward I mean, to that one. You can just do that shit for free. Man. <laughs> you don't need to hit that incentive. But... Well, you know, we could make it a big oh. extravaganza. A gainza. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's We've true. got uh, 5,500, Jerry the King Lawler and Fred McMahon commentate WrestleMania 31. <laughs> Who the fuck's going to be Jerry the King Lawyer? Lawyer? Lawler. <laughs> Lawler. <laughs> All right, Lawler. all right, my bad. I had a fucking brain fart kill me. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> I mean, sue me. I mean, too. sue me. Yeah. Oh, We've got uh, 5,500. Loophole does a movie <laughs> review in the style of how DSP would re review a movie. We've got yeah. live SOK reactions to do two babies, one okay, fox. Okay, what the fuck is that? I have no uh, idea. <laughs> two babies, one fox. Do not two so babies. much as Google it ahead of time. So we're not going to Google I'm it. Not, whatever. I'm not, I, that, I have no idea what that is. I, yeah. that two gets babies selected. and a fox. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not All excited right. about that one. Uh, that yeah. one seems like it has legal ramifications, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. We've also got uh, Carl shaving his head. That was an older one, a stretch goal. Also, me doing a Let's Play of Persona 4 and then doing a Hateful Truth style rant about it afterwards. Yes. That'll, that'll get me a lot of fans. <laughs> um, <laughs> che, che will sing Booty Man by Tim Wilson to serenade <laughs> Jennifer. That's good. <laughs> the serenade. I hope, hope, hope put that. Uh, I'll that. look through the comments. So maybe for safety reasons, we won't tell you. I hope put that. Moogle has to sing the U.S. national anthem and America, fuck yeah. Yeah. I'll fucking, I'll fucking do it. SOK yeah. plays Crash Bash for six thousand. Oh, Shitty Mario Party ripoff. AJ plays Duke Nukem Forever with the DLC on the hardest difficulty. Dr. Fizz and Shogath write a parody script of DSP's Project 7 reboot. And we're going to do a live reading of that, apparently. Oh, Hi. boy. 6,000 Jared will, will endure every segment of Teach Me, Teach Me Miss Leechy and Help Me Prof Coconoy. Oh, my Coconoy? God. <sighs> Miss what the fuck is that? Coconoy. That's Coconoy. How it, yeah, that's how it's pronounced. It's Blaze Thank Blue. You. Blaze Beautiful. Blue fanfics and shit. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Alright, we've also got Fred and Shay do a full playthrough of Dai Katana co op yep. along with <laughs> third Piece person of, of their choice. Who the fuck is that? Dai Katana? Really shitty fucking Oh, show. okay, Dai Katana. That's John Romero. Oh, the yeah, guy who made Doom. That, yep. Oh, yeah. fucking, it's a oh. terrible game, though. It's fucking garbage. I'm down. It's terrible, though. Just warning you. All right, moving on. We've got Sadsky streams or records himself playing H Doom. I six six thousand. Fred must do a one hour live let's endure of the, the most cringe worthiest weeaboo slash anime nerd rant vlog style videos. I thank you, Shogath. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, hey, you know what? Sh submit some for fucking Shogoth. You know what? You know, the people that are putting the most toxic ones are the ones just sitting back with their feet up. <laughs> Give fucking Shogoth some shit to do too. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Uh. Make, them dress, make them dress as a goth all day. Go to work and shit like that. Yep. Um, yeah. Moogle plays Kaizo Mario and Cat Mario. Bring it. I'll fucking beat those games any day. Ooh. Ooh. Che and Fred redub Boko no Pico. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. dude no. No. No, nah. I'm telling you, dude, that shit's illegal. 
<laughs> we'll look into the legality of that. Um, moon trivia. Moon Man has to answer a series of moon-related questions correctly, or else he has to go on rule34.net and tweet out a picture of Princess Luna from My Little Pony. What? Also from Shogoth. Thank you, Shogoth, for ruining our lives. We appreciate that. That motherfucker. Yeah. That's a new. He was the one that did the goddamn Shogoth. '80s workout challenge. I remember that. Yep. <laughs> And he may or may not have been involved in putting the uh, extra. Oh, okay. He the extra, just the director's snitched cut. you out. No, I he didn't, snitched I didn't you snitch. Out. I said may or may not. Sorry. I'm sorry that Fred snitched you out. I'm trying to troll him as well. So uh, let's see. What else do we got? Um, wait, what is this? Oh, I missed one. I'm oh, Okay, this might have just been a new one. Sorry. $6,000. Che will sing My Heart Will Go <laughs> On by Celine Dion. Oh, God. What? Lots of singing. <laughs> Yo, okay. If if the people want to see it, I'll fucking sing it. But you know what? Yeah, no, that that metrosexual shit, man, is bullshit. Celine Dion is a Canadian singer, bro. Mm hmm. I know who Celine Dion is. Okay, it's that fucking Titanic song, where the fucking dude got laid and fucking died because the bitch didn't want to share the damn raft. <laughs> he's no, he's just being noble, Che. That's part of his character. <laughs> All right. In addition, we've got oh, here we go. Anonymous camel, the SOK 6500. The SOK has to praise dark side. I'm reading it as it's being typed. Dark yep. side Phil, no pressure, has to praise dark side Phil for at least 20 minutes on an SOK cast with the C. Beautiful. I'll do nice. it. And that's by I Rob. No that. Thank you, Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. Robbie the robot. Yeah. We've got uh, 6,500. Be awesome one eats three ghost peppers. <laughs> Can't wait for that. 6,500. Loophole must watch Bollywood movies for 24 hours. <laughs> Man, Loophole, these 24 uh, hour ones. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I. Well, he loves thing is, Bollywood. Yeah, I saw one Bollywood movie and it was terrible, but I'll, I'll fucking do it. But uh, 24? As long as it's here's the thing. How about twenty four spread right? over like two days. How about this? Uh, nah. Well, here's the thing. It, as long as it's variety, it doesn't matter to me. How about this, loophole? Okay, this is this is awesome. He watches it, then he does a fucking uh, promo on the movie theater that he has to watch it in. Ooh, ooh. Actually, you know, it'd be funny if I saw one in theater. There's a theater by by him. They keep fucking showing Bollywood movies. I don't know why. I told the guys about this uh, a couple months ago. I saw some weird ass Bollywood movie. It made no sense. It was great, but uh, yeah, I'll, and the I'll do it. Theater smelled. Oh yeah, the theater smelled like fucking shit. <laughs> it was fucking dude. It was ghastly. It was all. It was just terrible. <laughs> What's next, Freddy boy? Well, first of all, I just want to welcome in one of our guests who's along for the ride, Mr. Formerly known as Kyoko Kirijiri, <laughs> now known as Mr. Drillbit. How you doing, good sir? I'm doing good today. How are you guys? We're doing, doing fantastic. Good. We're, Fred, just reading, we're just reading good. all these things that are about to ruin our lives, but other than that... <laughs> it's Kirigiri. Kirigiri? Yes, not Jerry, not Jerry, like Tom and Jerry. My Jerry. mistake, Mr. Spelling Bee World Champion. Kirigiri. I apologize to all those who I've offended. <laughs> Fucking, you offended a lot of weeaboos, you know this, right? Ooh. Isn't that a derogatory term? Uh, yeah. I depends. Uh, Ooh. Depends how you're really using it. Hey, this is a great one. Great challenge. Great From uh, Mr. Tyler, 6,500 loophole eats a live minnow. What the fuck is a minnow? A small fish. A bug. That is a the, small fish. That is oh, the, that's a bug, Che. That is Let like me a, look it up. Let me look it up. A minnow. It's a small fish. I've never heard of it. It's like oh, a those? sardine. I'll eat fucking ten of them. Oh! Like <laughs> oh. <laughs> a grande. At once. Ooh. <laughs> that's ten. It's a fucking, it's basically a sardine. That's all it is. Even if it's live. Live? All right, maybe Ooh. live. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was the, that's the whole uh, key. Live. Shit. And Gore says, hell yeah. You must enjoy getting that E. coli, huh? E. coli. God damn it. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> all right, I got, I'll do some research on this, but I will at least eat one live minnow. That's mm. all I can promise. 
<coughs> All right. Yes. A Manau. Manau. Sorry. A Manau j'ai toi. All right. So that's awesome. Hey, if you eat three, it'd be a Manau. All right. Anyways, we've got uh, 6,500. Watch the rest of the Bible Black anime series. Ugh. Courtesy of Mr. Gore. It's fantastic. 6,900. Che watches Boko no Pico. So we're going to have to figure this out. There's a double demand. Yeah. For the, uh, uh, Listen, I, I don't mind doing a face cam, but I don't want to do something that I have someone kicking down my fucking door. You feel me? I, I don't know what the hell that shit is, and I've heard some shit about it. So It's Man, horrifying. It. That's all I can for say. For the sake of Che, please. For the sake of Che. I, I can't. For the sake of Che. Sir Strong. Hashtag sake of Che. Oh yeah, I mean, look, listen. If it's something legal, I'll watch the fuck out of it, and I'll give you my reactions. And I gotta have Fred, or Fred there to antagonize me. Exactly. Just cause you, yo, you got fucking boned on that Bible black shit. You were hoping for fucking like female dicks and shit. Yeah, you, you got didn't get Nathan. shit. <laughs> yeah, Nathan. You fucking jackass. You even got treated to a lesbian scene. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, the wrong and type unfortunately, of shit. just uh, unexpectedly, I I didn't see this coming at all. We ended up getting shut down by the staff. So yeah, he probably I, reported it. <laughs> I was busy playing. I I can't. I guess we're that. going on YouTube now. Oh. Da -da -dun. So kids. we move on. Wait, what was that? We're going on YouTube. Yeah, just like Phil. You know, Listen. when someone tells him to, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck them. Yep. yep. Well, fuck fuck you. Let's leave them. Fuck we it. need that high quality. You know, it'd be awesome. You know, it'd be awesome for charity. And I was thinking about this. It never was going to happen. If we can get some fucking um, uh, high level amateur or even a professional fucking uh, MMA dude <laughs> to fucking leg kick me for charity, I will fucking I will be down for it. Yep. But Chris White. You know, uh, anyone who accepts, I'll Jose fucking take Aldo. a leg kick from anyone that knows what they're doing has some sort of clout for charity. What about Jose you Aldo? Jesus Christ, I'm going to get a fucking blood clot. Cyborg but... Santos, or Cyborg Justino. The girl? Yeah. Uh, She's a rage monster, though. It's probably tight, but, rage. you know, why not? What? She's tight. Okay. You're not going to fuck her. She's going to leg kick you. That's it. No, hey, listen, no dude, my Latin charm can get me into a lot of places. Latin okay, charm. moving on. Yeah, especially jail. Yeah, uh, let's so anyway, move on. Let's, uh, let's move on. We've also got... Uh, Torres for sixty nine sixty nine. <laughs> Clever cat here. Torres draws concept art for an SOK porno. Oh my fucking god! That's great. So we're gonna see. What's the fuck? Naked. It's gonna be. Oh, shut the fuck, dude. What's with the fucking SOK porno? Shit? I don't know. It took off. Uh, it, some somehow the SOK porno thing. We all made the names and shit, and now it's like a phenomenon. So. I guess I don't have a say in this. Oh look, it's ah. Torres. <laughs> that, that, we were just that, talking uh, about you. Yeah, because he knew I was here. Uh, I was actually looking at this list. No, Sorry, we were just looking at the list. But funny you came in. How's it going, Torrance? This is good. Yeah. The superior artist. It's yeah. real good. You better get ready to draw some of that, uh, that, that crap called the SOK porno. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Why do y'all want me to draw this? I don't um, fucking know. Ask them. Listen, <laughs> they the one, they're the ones that said it, not us. <laughs> yeah, Trust me, we didn't say it. Shit. I me neither. Like Dude, I was so afraid to like break it to you because <laughs> I knew this was going to be your reaction. I better be in my own scene with a fucking female. Take me away from all the other shit. Uh, I mean, it's bad enough you're making me draw a pan Lee. Why do you want me to do this? I'm going to ask <laughs> people to spend <laughs> that shit. That's the community, no. man. They're crazy. We love yeah. them, but damn, dude. We're like torture. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know who's going to be tortured after this felon beat. <laughs> Fred. Ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really going to lose that shit. Except Chinese no. water torture. No doubt. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. That's a little shit where the fucking water drips on their head. I got gotcha. you. But, anyways, moving on. Being called. Repeatedly by people. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, Moogle completes Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. 7,000. That's a very obscure game for me to play on stream, but okay. <laughs> well, apparently it's shit. I think that's why. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God. The wait, is it, the, is it one of the GameCube games? It's, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's only on PS2. It's like the first PS2. No, there's, there's a GameCube one. Uh, I don't think it's. I think that's a hero's tale. But I think I know. Enter the Dragonfly is god awful though. 
I do uh, know that. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's endure a PewDiePie. A motherfucking Shogoth, dude. I wonder how many... I'm going to count how many did these. Yes, sir. All right, so I just had some breaking news. Not to Gosh. interrupt. What? But Ravon is here, and he is setting up his headset to appear. Oh, oh man. So we are oh, going shit. to have oh, Revan live. Oh, snap. Make sure to put it on the... Make sure <laughs> yep. to put it in the chat, so just so... I appreciate everyone who's been sticking with us. I know there's a lot of people that came here specifically to get uh, this interview. So we appreciate you guys dealing with us going through the charity housekeeping. But uh, just so everyone is aware, if you're new here and you're here just for this, he is in the building. He will be here very shortly. Get your popcorn and get your fan because we're going on one hell of a fucking ride. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we've got Drill here. Who, uh, you know, it's kind of funny when you think about this. You know, you look at it, and we've got the two guys who were the first trial mods, both of them. And they were their first sort of new people to sort of throw their hat into the ring and say, you know what, I will mod for Phil. They were the first trial mods. And now, because of us, apparently, as we're being told, because of us, they're no longer mods anymore. So... <laughs> It's interesting. I thought it would be fitting to get Drill here um, because of his experience being on the forums and obviously... Uh, Drill, would you say that you and God uh, Revan were sort of colleagues? Yeah, someone Sort of coming like, up together we, and sort of in the same position. Yeah. Like, I got along with him a lot better than the other mods on this site. So, mm. so yep. Two of... Two of you know the most well liked mods i would say i'd say static is is respected but you know he's not as active enough to build as much of a rapport with people i would say that you and and revan because you were trial mods and because you guys were trying to sort of build you know a sort of reputation and sort of prove yourselves that you guys were extremely active on the forums and as a result you guys have built up um a positive reputation with a lot of people in the community you know i mean I, I wanted to say something actually about with uh, regarding what happened. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit uh, drill. I think you've got like some, or if you're moving or whatever. Oh, sorry so, about that. So just good. letting you know. It was I was going to say I feel like Phil just never wants to let mods take the neutral path of what's going on. Like I feel like if he had just let them talk with us, like you know, casually, um, because you know we're not like because this is this is what I. This is what I feel like. This is how I feel that Phil is kind of going about things. He's like, these guys are haters, you know. That they, that they're gonna go out of their way to kind of convert or change everyone's opinion about Phil and that. And that, and I feel like in in this at this point, Phil is being very paranoid, and with how he treats everyone in that, I feel like if he just let his mods take the neutral path of what's going on, they uh, the forms would be a lot more respected. That that's not how they do it. It's either one extreme or get out. I mean, li I mean, you know, you could just tell, dude. Certain people get treated a different way. For yeah. example, they, I mean, you know, there was a fucking threat on there by some dude saying I was bullying someone because I was in the SOK. They didn't close the thread down. They locked it, but they kept it up in the form. If anyone else was saying that about Phil or any of the mods or any pro DSP fans, that shit would have been deleted in five seconds. Mm-hmm. I also feel yep. like I also feel like it, the forums at this point, especially with the moderation team, it's like you're either with us or against us. That's pretty much their quota. And well, yeah, I mean, really if ignorant. someone if someone is banned sheerly for talking to us, and that's it, yeah, then that's a major problem because it builds a certain environment and atmosphere at the forums where exactly like you said, it's you're with us or against us. Yeah. So. It's an outside thing too. Like you can't talk to certain people outside of the forums. I mean, that's just that, weird. That makes absolutely no sense. It's like people yeah. have a, people have a Twitter presence, and they're they're they have full right and responsibility to do whatever the hell they want. And I because mean, with what uh, Riven Riven dead, uh, that, if that's where you how you want to say his name, mm -hmm. but because of what he did, because he was communicating with Fred. I feel like the whole thing kind of just was taken out of context. Big yep. Not to mention, dude, they take everything that you do outside and they put it in the forum. So let's say because someone talked to one of us, they're going to ban people in the forums even though they didn't break any rules inside the forums. Like, they take it, like, to a whole new extreme. 
They like All bunch right. everything together. So we've just connected with Rev uh, Revan. You got some uh, some background noise though. It sounds like uh, yeah. I'm so yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to to freak to set the noise ch noise changes correctly because I'm since I'm using my Afterglow Prismatic. I'm trying to make sure that the that my microphone isn't picking up too much noise. So okay. I I apologize for for the background music. Please bear with me until I I can fix this. So it's all good. No problem. So obviously, first and foremost, we very much appreciate you coming on, and we appreciate your time here tonight. Um, you know, we've got a number of things that we wanted to discuss. I've sent you uh, the format, so uh, all of us are prepared, and we're we're all uh, ready to have a nice, healthy discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. So, um, the first, so while you get sorted out, um, the first thing that we wanted to sort of talk about um, is just sort of how we got here now. Um, there's been a lot of conflicting reports of, you know, why are we where we're at right now, who's responsible for this. So, if you could, um, could you just sort of give us some background? Where did this start? How did this start? Maybe go back to the, um, the original report that kind of got this all started. Last week, right? Yes. Oh, give me a moment. Uh, trying to set up currently. Uh, uh, okay. This all this all this all started last Friday, literally last Friday at one p. I oh, no, actually that's the time that I actually messaged you. So it actually started in thur uh, Thursday Thursday ten thirty, Friday midnight. <laughs> When I get a report from a member, which you guys all by 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 now you all know who it is, uh, it said that it was reported that KG Galleon. Can somebody kill the background music on their microphone, please? Uh, I, that isn't any of us, I don't think. It was me. I'm sorry. This is the member Hello? who uh, originally filed the report here. Yeah. Oh, that's them. Yeah, that's me. I can't see you here, so so okay. Uh, as, I, as I was saying, uh, Diet Sim actually made a re uh, made a report saying that KG had insulted him. Uh, when I saw this, I decided upon myself that met this time KG Galleon should be punished because he had he had insulted another person. So I had suggested that we should restrict his posting and moderate his content, which uh, the moderating content means that we should. Prevent him from uh, that he cannot post unless that we approve that said post. Okay. And then people start, uh, some of the other mods agreed with me, but then I uh, I realized that KG Alien has been reported multiple times for valid reasons, has been given warnings multiple times for valid reasons, and has been previously uh, temporarily banned for a valid reason. So with all that put together, I thought to myself that maybe instead of restricting his posting temporarily that he should be temporarily banned for a longer time than he was previously given. Okay. Now, uh, uh, quickly, Distimi, can you tell us um, what the post was uh, when you reported it and exactly, um, you know, your thoughts on the post in question? Um, sure. First of all, I'm once again, I'm excusing my bad English. Yeah. Oh, your English is good. Uh, right? Take yeah. your time. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. Um, it starts very much long, uh, longer before. There was the first post, of, uh, first thread about um, why got loopholes video got um, got banned from from YouTube and, and such. Yeah, and, and they they were mentioning the whole situation as such. Yeah, and and, and suddenly KG came and started to derail thread once more. Yeah, and then he, he went on and on and on. Yeah, and then. The thread was was um, was deleted, and I was asking uh, Raven uh, what happened seriously as such, and, and he told me the reasons because why it was deleted, and I said I'm starting a new thread about it. Yeah, a more more neutral. I'm saying the thread was about um, do parody videos uh, harm Phil's business? Yeah, not not exactly about uh, the loophole situation or such and something. Yeah. It went on and on, and at one point, KG showed up. Um, he was a bit quiet about this at first, and then he said, uh, when I mentioned something, I was talking about uh, out of my ass. Um, and some of you people remember, um, I put him into place and said, he's not talking to me that way, and I also reported him. I also want to say that um, 
I reported him many times, and I also received a warning for abusing the report system. Uh, basically saying stop uh, reporting KG for his mischiefs. Okay. Yeah. Do you know who the report was from? Yeah, Onyx. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's a strong German accent. Oh, was I'm from Germany. Talent kinetics book. Yeah. No, we understood everything you said perfectly, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I just here. I just read the comment here. <laughs> um. All right. So. System, I said I'm. Um, it's gone too far. I reported him, and well, um, Raven took action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he also told me the first thread was deleted because KG derailed it. Yeah. You're talking about the first post or the first thread? The first thread. No, the first thread, I sincerely had to block it because I was a temporary, I was the, a trial mod, and trial mods cannot, uh, cannot specifically uh, delete really? posts or, or edit them. If I was a, a form mod by that time, I would have I would have edited out the the derailing parts and keep the the parts that were that were that were on topic. But at that time, I couldn't do anything, so I had to close the thread and allow a new one to 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 be created. Wait, while I while I while I specifically uh, pointed out that I gave you permission to make a new thread, and that anybody that derail it will get a warning. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was the point. Yeah, but um, but you told me that the first thread was uh, deleted because KG derailed it. There was der there was der yeah there was derailment. Yes, um, uh, just just want to say it. Yeah. Okay. I don't so remember if I I don't remember if I said that the KG, if KG derailed it. I I gotta check with the I have to check on the on my PM if it, if I actually said that. But yeah, I closed it primarily because there was uh there was a lot of thread uh, derailment. Yes, yeah, that's right. what was the point. Yeah, so I can confirm um, it happened because of this, and and I basically um, started the whole crap because I reported him. Perfect. All right. So uh, Rev uh, Revan, if you want to continue on from there, um, so you were just explaining um, your, you know, you were going to take action against KG here. Yeah, as I said, uh, with all the information that I they, that I laid out before me. I decided that instead of researching his posting, that he should get a temporarily ban longer than it should. I actually made that suggestion in the mod reports. I waited for an hour. I didn't get any. I didn't get a response, but things were getting pretty much more heated in the thread. So I decided that to take action right there and temporarily ban KG. Okay. Uh, I made a post about it. Then that anybody who. Uh, Responded to KG, quoting with any witty humor or anything about it, will get punished and given a warning. Mm -hmm. Because now that KG was banned, I didn't want people's focus to be on KG. I wanted to that focus to be moved along. To be, uh, I wanted their focus to be somewhere else instead of KG because he was not on the picture anymore. Okay, nope. That's and that's where when I finished making that post, that's where I went to Skype and I started speaking with you. Okay. Now, um, would you mind if we put on screen the censored post um, that I originally put on Twitter, so that we can get some background on exactly what you said to me when it happened? Yeah, go ahead. It's not like anybody has already seen it by now. Okay. Uh, Mughal, do you have that for us? Actually, do you guys have, uh, give me the link to the hitbox because I'm not uh, looking at that. Censored posts. Uh, yeah, that would have been in Convo. Hold on, let me find it. There's the link to the stream. Um, I'll also just, let me find this and I'll just link it on Imgur then if we don't have it. Do you guys, do you yeah, guys hear yeah. uh, the? Do you guys hear the background? Uh, a lot of the background on me. It's not as bad anymore. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's, yeah. It's I, 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 lo I lowered a bit the. Uh, if we don't have it. Do you guys Oops. But yeah. I do hear the stream. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I paused it. I paused it right now. Okay. Um. So here I'm uploading this to Imgur right now, and I'll also put it in um, the chat. Do you, yeah. Send it to me, and I'll put it on the screen. Okay. Cool. So it is now. It takes no less than five chat. seconds to do it. There it is in the chat. Um, do you want it in the chat? Or do you want it in the private message? Yep, it's in the chat. Yeah. All oh right. yeah, I did. Ha 
Wait, how the f- where the fuck did this go? I had it on. I had it That's listed fine. on here. We got it. Ah, all right. All right. So we have March twentieth. This is the time in question. Are you there? I said, yeah. What's up? You say to me, check KG's profile. Never mind. You can't really see it. I asked what happened. You said you should check the forums. That referring to banning KG should up everyone's morale and calm them down. So I went to read it. I responded. So he's temporarily banned. Ravon then tells me, never mind, it got overruled. I ask what? Ravon says, all that I can say is that, is that Phil directly warned him. Nothing groundbreaking, I would say. And you would, you would say, uh, Revan, that you have a lot of respect for the staff. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go above and beyond. You wouldn't say anything that someone couldn't see for themselves. You just sort of wanted to give me the heads up so that I could call yeah. attention to it. That's right. So, but also then, to keep in mind, to keep in mind, that as I said right there, all I can say that Phil directly warned him. Mm-hmm. He still got a warning directly from Phil. But right. go on. So then, um, Moogle, if you have, it's a folder that I titled Lead Up. This should be uh, 326. Um, is that, this is, that, is a is tweet that, that I put that is says that? K Galleon has been banned from the forums temporarily. Oh, King hold hate on. Forums. I'll find that real quick. Uh, you had it numbered, didn't you? No, those weren't numbered. Those are in the lead-up folder. Oh, uh, let me find it then. If not, I'll put that on Imgur too. Yeah, I I don't know why the hell I don't have... Because the ones that you had numbered are the ones I put on the timeline. Perfect. All right, so here is what I tweeted out. This was directly when it happened. This is in the chat as well. Mm -hmm. So there is the original tweet. This is... What uh, I was told, this is what I made public. KG has been banned from the forums temporarily. Hashtag King Hate Forums. A link to the thread. And a screen cap of the publicly available forum post. This one was quickly deleted. Um, seconds later, I had to retract that. And as I will upload here in the next folder. Or in, sorry, in the next photo. There's that. And copy image URL. Wait, is this when Phil got involved? No, not yet. This is right before oh. Phil got involved. All right, oh, okay. and now this one. And now the post has been deleted, and he is no longer banned. Um, so if you can give us a little bit more background, what happened here? Because now we're in the sequence of events. You just went to me. I just made it public. What's going on on your end? Absolutely, uh, absolutely nothing really. I'm just I'm just reading the the warning that Phil gave, gave KG, and I continued t- talking to you. There there was nothing wrong on my side until the following afternoon. Okay. Now, when this was going on, obviously there's conflicting reports. Some people are saying that KG was told that he won't be banned because he's a patron and because his uh, he's needed for voting. We have other reports that he this, the punishment didn't fit the crime and therefore he wasn't uh, banned. What can you tell us about the reason why he was actually unbanned at this point? Why was your decision to ban him overturned? Uh, first of all, let me ask if you know on the, on the stream chat. Uh, Trubito, yeah, I, I am a regular guy online. Okay, back uh, back on topic. Uh, I st- in from what I can I can only share. So, uh, Phil was unbanned because he's need he's needed for the important uh, Patreon playthrough. But that as many people said that they liked. Uh, the way that I worded this, that Phil KG, the KG gave no, uh, the, K, the K, yeah, received a verbal spanking from Phil. Okay. He he was upon it. He he got a warned, a very big warning from Phil, saying that he should be calmed down, that he should relax, do not focus on the detractors, just let them slide, and and move along. That's that's all I can say from from the report. Okay. So any sort of oops, hold on a second. Any anything to the so what you were told at that point, listen, we understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, we're not going to ban him because he's needed. He is needed to be in polls, stuff like that. Um what what are your thoughts on that? What do you think um about 
him being needed for a poll overriding your personal decision to ban him for the well-being of the community because you know obviously he was causing a lot of problems this, to this, that this is the first this is the first the first time that has happened so i really can't answer uh completely on the on the sub on the subject matter he he once the the patreon voting is, is all done he could actually get get banned i don't know but all, all I can say is that that since this is, was the first time that has happened, I can't honestly say that uh, uh, if he's going to remain unbanned or be banned after what he has said to Diet Stem. Okay. okay. Just generally speaking, what do you think about a member being treated differently based on, on the fact that they would be paying Phil money and that has earned them the right to vote above, you know... It shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. Okay. Point and simple. Okay. So, then we move on. I reported this, as Moogle's been screaming, has been uh, streaming through. Um, I report this. I then say, in response to Dragon Killer, who, shout out to Dragon Killer, awesome job. He's been doing a lot of great work reporting things unbiased, just sort of putting stuff up and not really giving all that much commentary. So, he's just, you know, the facts. He's, a, he's like the AP. He's like writers. He sort of just gives you the stuff. But anyways, um, I respond to him that I was able to confirm with staff that that is the reason why he was unbanned. It's just that he was unbanned and that Phil gave him a warning, personally. Now, we move on. Phil uh, very graciously comes after me. He somehow got word of this, that I was reporting on the secret backstage inner workings of his forum, and says, quote, when will you realize you're done? Banned from the forums and my life. It's none of your concern. Stay out, you sick stalker fuck. I respond with, what the fuck are you talking about? I haven't made an account in over two months, which is fact. Even though I've been accused of making accounts, that has been our good friend, Dr. Fizz. So uh, then he says, quote, confirmed with staff he was let off with a warning how is it your business are you this ill that you won't leave me alone at that point I thought it would be important to say to him that listen this person that told me this came to me I did not seek this out I did not chase this story I was sitting back I believe at the time we were celebrating the uh, the charity or doing something else related at that point is it's when you took you grabbed the screen cap and posted it without waiting for me yes so well, I'll get to that in just a second so what I thought would be important to say look I was just sitting back this story fell into my lap it's not as though I just go after you all the time and I'm concerned about your life this just happened and I reported it as it was given to me at that point I messaged um, I messaged you Revan and I said listen I need to be able to defend myself here because this guy he's going after me and what I want to do, I want to censor your name out. I want to post these up. Um, it then, let me see here. At that time, I, I was on the computer. I right. I was doing chores at that time. So I made the decision after um, I wasn't, I didn't get a response for roughly, I don't Almost know. Almost an hour. Maybe an hour. Um, so I, I thought to myself, you know, sort of in the heat of the moment, well, shit. All right. What if I just put it up censored? Phil won't know who it is, and I can just show him that, you know, he's he's completely off base here. Everything that he's saying is incorrect, and it was just that this story fell in my lap. Then, like I said, um, you then f followed up with me and said, hey, can you take that down? I know that my name is censored, but I use some words that I use on the report, and that might give me away. Realizing my mistake, I deleted it immediately. I, you know, abandoned that argument. And I apologize to you because, uh, and I can say this here on, on the air, I was in the wrong for that. I was thinking irrationally at the time. Um, I felt as though I had to quickly defend myself. So, um, you know, that was 100% my fault for posting the screen cap up. And uh, like I have in private, I will also on the air apologize to you for that. Um, because had I have, you know talk to you at the time I probably wouldn't have posted it but you know it was sort of a heat of the moment thing and I wanted to get that out there as quickly as possible so that was my mistake so after it gets posted uh, let us know then um, let's pick up from there okay uh, where I left off 
Yeah, so basically it got posted up and then uh, what happens after it gets actually posted up on the internet? I no, well like you explained, I, I told you please take it down and you immediately did. Uh, uh, then we started talking about a different subject. Uh, hours later, it was already like 11.30 between 1 in the afternoon, I believe, the, on Friday. And I get a message from the administrator Onyx that collectively the staff had decided to let me go because I was unrational on KG's post and because I was speaking I was seen speaking to you okay just speaking now, to I'm, me yeah speaking to you about all the sort of KG being banned okay but like was it was it framed to you was your understanding just that you're being banned because you spoke to me or you're being banned because you gave me some sort of privileged information no no it, it, it's for it's for both it's for the unreasonable banning of KG and because I was seen sp uh, speaking to you uh, about the the KG ban okay. and, getting, and getting credit for it. I publicly will say this to everybody. My intention was not to take credit for banning KG. I did it because he had broken a rule, although it was the first time, and I needed to take action. It, excuse me, wow. Sure, no problem. Uh, give me a moment, give me a moment. <laughs> uh, hello? Nice burp. Sorry, I... I <laughs> Do you, you guys actually heard it? I thought I actually muted that. Nope, got it on Got it on film. You're never going to live that down. Oh, uh, my bad. Okay, Exposed. Uh, back on... Exposed. And you're just kidding. Back, back, back on topic. I'm sorry, back on topic. I thought uh, it was the first time they had done it. So, I actually had to, I, I had to bat him. The reason I went to, I went to Fred Fox about it is because since he is like a line to all of the DSP critics and detractors. I thought that if by, t that by telling you uh, sooner than, than anything else, I could uh, calm everybody down to shift their focus away from KG. Mm -hmm. Because since he gets so much flack for whatever he does or whatever he talks about him, I didn't, I didn't want that for him. I wanted, oh, okay, you're banned, but I'm going to shift away all of the, all the focus away from you. Right. That's, what, that's the main point I was trying to do. And I completely respect that. I appreciate that. You know, what there needs to be, what I believe, is I think there needs to be more open dialogue between both sides. And I think that... You know, me and you have a certain understanding, we have a certain respect for each other, where we can talk about different things like gentlemen and come to an understanding. What I received what I basically interpreted from what you showed me was, all right, look, this isn't biased. The rules apply to everybody equally. And, you know, a lot of us have been expressing that we feel like the rules don't get applied to everyone equally. We feel like that we get singled out and that we get you know, um, banned or moderated before anyone else does. And I think what you were trying to show me without speaking for you is just, look, the rules apply to everyone equally, no matter who you are or what your affiliation is. If you come here, if you break the, if you break the rules, you are as liable as anyone else. That is correct. Perfect. Um, so then we move on. You've, uh, you've been demoted for A, talking to me, and B, overreacting about the KG ban. Um, then it's, it's actually backwards. It's t it's, it's the unreasonable when a KG and then talking to you. Okay, no matter, no no problem. Um, so then we move on to um, you know we're sort of talking. We sort of patch things up a little bit, and then you go on. I offer you to come on to talk because you wanted to be able to give the story out in your own words without it being manipulated or changed by anyone else. You wanted to give the story yourself. Um, to, you know to us, the, the DSP critics, I guess, um, and not have your words missed. Is, is that fair to say? And, and, and detractors. There's some, so I'm pretty sure that some of the detractors are in chat, but aside from that, at that point I said, I'm going to think about it because I wasn't, I wasn't sure of my, uh, myself that I'm able to do it. Uh, I was insecure 
then I started thinking more and more throughout the day and maybe a day or two and I decided that maybe I should go on the SO cast to explain happened because I don't want this information to be uh, misconstrued, uh, twisted, uh, manipulated so that it can hurt later Phil and the staff. Okay. Uh, I thought that I should do this to to at least clear the air because if I don't, it's going to bite them in the ass later on. Of course. And I, and I thought it was a disservice to them after what they have done through uh, for me. Uh, I was part of the staff. Okay. So then we move on um, a little bit of back and forth on the forums, basically just trying to discuss it. You made a thread to sort of clear up any misconceptions. Um, you also made some sound clouds. Uh, uh, talk which, us through that. Talk us through your thought process here. Uh, the sound cloud, although I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with everybody, the first one I'm not very proud of. <laughs> uh, it, was the, it was the heat of the fucking moment, and I really wasn't proud of it. But honestly, the start of the SoundCloud was thanks to Wang Lord, as you all know, he had that he, he, let's just be honest, he doesn't like SOK, I understand. Ah, well, we like him. Yeah. But aside from that, he explained to me that maybe you should actually do this a lot sooner, explain it to them, uh, do a SoundCloud or Avermedia, is that what you called it? Yeah. Avermedia. And I started doing some research about it. I decided that yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the SoundCloud, but at the same time I'm gonna have to I'm I'm still gonna do the SOK the SO cast because since I already announced it, I do not want to go back on my word. And we, I I I needed to do that. And that is a respectable thing. Obviously, uh, we were a little bit worried that we might lose you because Phil. Uh, you know, tweeted at you and said, "Please reconsider, because we're just going to slander you." I think you can probably probably admit, um, or I spoke admit, to Phil. I, I spoke to Phil privately. Mm -hmm. I, I I explained everything. I told him, "Don't." Uh, I explain. I explained to him some things that I really don't want to discuss on 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 the fucking cast. So I apo I apologize for that. No, that's fine. But, As you can see, none of us are trying to slander him. We just want to get your side of the story, and we're just, you know, asking you what happened, basically. Yeah, I appreciate for actually Phil that he was worried about me, and I and I returned it, and I gave it back in return. Well, but it seemed like he was worried about himself. He literally, his words were, "I don't want you to go on there because they're just going to slander me." Like I said, I spoke to him privately, so I know what I'm saying. Okay. Right. Uh, we can only go on what he put publicly. Yeah, yeah I know. I understand. You know, you guys, you guys can only go with what what was posted. Because right. well, uh, we weren't in the private conversation. I mean, mm -hmm. he literally just posted on Twitter, "Hey, Ravon, please don't go on there because, uh, you know, we think that you're going to slander me." So, but uh, no, okay, no. I completely understand that. Um, uh, at what point? Where was I? Oh, okay, the SoundCloud thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks to Wenlo, he actually suggested about uh, to me. I decided that yeah, I'm gonna do the SoundCloud, and I'm still gonna do the SOK because I uh, it wouldn't be right of me to actually to go back on my word, even though I didn't promise it. Okay. But yeah, I started fucking around on SoundCloud. Honestly, it took me like an hour or two to to get comfortable with it because I was. Having so many mistakes, uh, flubs, uh, too too long, too many long pauses, and like, oh my god, what are the, what the fuck am I doing? Oh shit, two hundred and four people, Jesus fucking Christ! All right, sorry, that is a record for the Sons of Kojima. Where did you broadcast. people come from? Two hundred and four. <laughs> we did guys. We're famous. Right. Mama, yeah. me, wow, that am I that likable? Uh, <laughs> was, was it like this? Was it like this when Kyoko was here? Uh, it was close to that. I mean, it wasn't in the two hundreds, but uh, yeah. I mean, when we have something related, uh, the well, apparently, comes uh, well, apparent, well, apparently, I'm much more likable. But uh, aside from that, I'm sorry. Aside it's, from that, it's because uh, people like me, huh? That's what it is. Yeah, we told them you were coming. <laughs> but I say that. Uh, let me allow me to continue. Uh, I was very inexperienced with SoundCloud. Took too many long pauses. Started uh, stuttered a lot. Uh, the first one I wasn't very proud of. I was very rage-filled. I was very, I was still, I was very sour. And that's when you and a couple of people approached me that are not, not part of the SOK that, 
maybe you should change it because it was very in your face, and I agree. I shouldn't have done that, and I apologize to everybody on, on the podcast live to everyone. And I decided to make a second one, being more calmer, going a bit more into detail, and released it. And actually, I want to give a shout-out to Stealth Ninja 88. Thank you for taking my, my, my first sound, my second SoundCloud, and cleared out the entire background noise. I, it was actually amazing. I, di- I couldn't even hear it anymore. Like I said, I was actually messing up with the volume of my microphone, and it was the first time. So shout out to Stealth Ninja ADA for the amazing help on the second SoundCloud. Catch up. All, All right. right. So moving on, um, oh, yeah. we then get to um, you know sort of like a, a response from the staff, sort of saying uh, you know this. Nothing really to see here. The punch. I'm sorry, give me one. Yeah, Doctor. Uh, yeah, Fizz. I know you were Bob Ross. Go ahead. I was rep- responding to chat. Oh, no problem, man. Um, so basically, we had a little bit of a uh, back and forth on the forums. You made the thread. There was sort of this notion of uh, you know nothing to see here. It was just we didn't as a team. We didn't agree with the fact that KG was uh, banned. Uh, albeit temporarily, we weren't we weren't okay with that decision to ban him, um, but it wasn't. And it was that he shared secret or pr- or privileged information. And like I said, we can both sort of eliminate a bunch of these things. Number one, um, you felt justified that KG has been causing problems and that he deserved at least a temporary ban for this because he's insulting members and that's against the rules. And in addition... Insulting one member. He hasn't insulted uh, uh, members. It's one member, which is the first time. Go ahead. Okay. And also um, that there has been, um, you know, some sort of, you know, talking to me where there's some sort of privileged information being given out. And we've sort of covered that there wasn't anything that you couldn't personally see with your eyes as a normal person that you told me. You just sort of brought my attention to it um, just for the sake of me seeing it just in case I hadn't already. And transmitting it to everybody as fast as possible. Right. So that covers that. Um, are there any other thoughts that you have as far as, um, you know, the demoting itself, someone's role as a patron, um, you know, being unequally applied rules to them, or anything else before we move on um, to just more general things about the forums? Uh, I'm going to admit that I was sad that I was let go, but I, uh, I accepted their decision. I, I, wasn't ma- I wasn't mad at them. I knew that uh, it was, even though the picture I made that it made me look uh, somewhat questionable. If I was uh, doing it for the benefit of forms or for the benefit of the SOK, and I believe that I should have... Uh, Uh, let's say more specific immediately mm-hmm. uh, in our initial conversation before you actually posted it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, I have no hard feelings. Uh, I, li- I like the staff. I know they're doing their job, and I appreciate it. Okay. Um, so let's move on. Um, the next thing that we want to cover with you is just your general thoughts on the forums themselves. Um, you know, there's been a decline in the amount of members that have been active. I think a lot of people can attribute that to just people's perception of um, the forums. And I just want to get your thoughts on the current atmosphere. You know, um, what do you see in the forums that maybe could be changed? What do you see that's different? Just your general thoughts on the forums overall, if we could get those. Uh, I appreciate if you be more specific in, in a certain subject. Sure. sure. So just in general, when you see the forums today and you see the forums when they first came up, do you see any notable changes or anything different um, from the environment that it was when it first started up and where we are now? Uh, are you speaking from the fourth generation or the first generation? I mean, this current generation, when okay, it first, first started at the okay. beginning of the year and then now about three months later. Uh, honestly, uh, I, I haven't noticed much. I, to me, it, it feels the same. Although there, there have been days that, it, that are slow. People haven't logged in, but that's understandable because they, they have their lives to deal with. But I feel that they've been the same, more or less. That's all I can say. Okay. 
Uh, on, on terms of activity, if that's what you're talking, to, uh, if you're asking me. Alrighty. So um, let me go ahead. Let me grab one of our um, guest callers um, because we're now going to move on to, uh, I guess, what we would call the scandal segment. Uh, oh boy! Now, there's scandal. a little bit of something that was going on on the forums, and uh, I want to be able to break this in a way that is fair. We received this story earlier this week, and we wanted to do a, a, a decent amount of research. We wanted to do our dil due diligence, I guess you could say. None of us are journalists, but we felt a certain obligation to research this story and to make sure that we talked to different people involved. We got solid evidence that it, that it happened um, before we reported. So, Mr. Mughal, if you would please place screenshot number one Exhibit one on screen, and we can uh, go through this. Now we have Mr. Dark Souls here with us. Uh, Mr. Dark Souls, can you please uh, introduce yourself for the audience and tell us how you fit into the story? The same Dark Souls from the from the previous uh, form generations. Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Wow. Good to see him. Good to hear from you, Ian. It's a uh, Dark Stalkers forty seven actually. Oh, uh, sorry. Dark I read it. I read it incorrectly. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought you wanted oh, to look fine. Dark Souls. You ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> soiled it. Mm -hmm. Soiled it. <laughs> uh, but yes, um, yeah. Um, nice to see everyone. Um, yeah, I kind of got involved on this when uh, came to a little uh, discussion I was having with uh, Wang Lord on the forums. Perfect. All right. So as you can see, uh, Mughal, can you zoom out just a little bit? It's a little bit too far in. Just zoom out a little bit. Not scroll, but zoom out. Like that? Uh, no, no, no. Zoom scroll out. up and zoom out like a little bit. It's a little bit too far in. Oh. You mean like There that? we go. Now, yeah. Now, perfect. Perfect. All right. So as you can see here, this is a private conversation that was taking place between Mr. Dark Soul, Mr. Dark Stalkers 47. My, my apologies. Now it's way too zoomed out. You had it perfect like a minute ago. Um, you can see here that, and I'm actually going to tweet this out while we're speaking. You mean uh, like with that? Mega Link. You're good. Okay. That we have a private conversation here going on between Mr. Darkstalkers47 and Wanglord. And what they're discussing is what was sort of going on beforehand in the forums. They were having a bit of a back and forth. This is an PM thread. This is a PM. Uh, go ahead. So this is uh, Mr. Darkstalkers47 and Wanglord having a bit of a discussion on what was going on previously. Now we have the Mighty Onyx invited himself into this private message. Now what this communicates to me is that number one, he was scanning through private messages and just so happened to find people that were talking about him. Or the other scenario is that he had this back and forth with the member and decided, let me go into his account and let me see what's going on and what this guy is up to logs into his account, goes to his private messages, sees that he's talking back and forth with another member, and then goes and invites himself into the conversation so that he can participate. This is obviously a breach of privacy. This is a breach of one's trust. And there is no, and I mean zero, mention in the terms of service or the rules that you are open to having your account broken into just for some suspicion that you may be talking about someone being a dick or something like that. This, my friends, is a full-fledged scandal and this is a disgusting... This is a disgusting showing. Not to mention it's creepy. I mean, you have this guy that will knowingly go through your shit. So, I always advocate, you know, you're, in, you're on the internet, keep yourself private. But watch what you say on the PMs because this guy is scanning through your shit. Yeah. 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 That's, that's why I always just tend to talk to people outside the forum because it's never safe because of the adamant always scanning through everything. Mm -hmm. Nobody's safe anymore. Not no on one the forums. Is safe. So, as you can see here, uh, Revan, what are your initial thoughts when you hear that the administrator? has solid evidence here that he is not only going through people's private messages 
but also potentially going into their accounts when he feels as though there may be someone just talking simple smack about him. Uh, okay, the, this is one that I see in many places because the I'm, I'm, this is just from my 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 perspective and experience with different people. An administrator has the right to go into the, into a person's accounts and see if the private message if there is something very alarming or concerning. Uh, I'm sorry, alarming or I mean, concerning no, you've got something. Got a lot of uh, like crackling. Sorry about that. No, no worries. Uh, uh, alarming or concerning do, uh, about a certain situation in the forums okay. or to another member. An administrator has the right to do that in order okay. to, to, to maintain the safety about a person. But if this is let him talk, let him talk. But if this is done uh, irresponsibly, just to uh, I'm just trying to, to say the word, just to to avoid getting uh, to to stop the smack talking. You really can't do that. If someone's talking smack about you, that's their op that's their opinion towards you. You can't invade their privacy just to just to stop just to stop that. That that is irresponsible. But if I'm um, I'm I, I'm not reading the the message because it's going it's going very fast. Okay. And it, and it's and it's changing constantly. So I I, uh, I yeah, really don't know. Can you kind of slow that down? Um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go on Imgur and I'm just gonna upload these uh, clips. What I did? I put a mega link. You can download the full screen caps. This is just you know you can do capture whole screen. So this is the entire one. Um, so that you know you can tell that they're uh, valid. But I'm also going to. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, re I'll read them. Let me just. Uh, I'll say same piece after I. Uh, after uh, key uh, drill bit actually set, sets his part, but let me just finish uh, on on the train of thought I, uh, I had. Sure. You, an administrator can do it if it's uh, if it's endangering the f the form or another member. Okay. Uh, the administrator cannot do it if if it's to stop if it's for personal reasons, like uh, see what another person is talking about them. Okay. That, that's their opinion. That's their opinion about about you, the administrator. You cannot stop that. Uh, you cannot. You cannot stop that, and get into their conversations just to see what they uh, what they were talking about. Right. Now, Revan, would you consider this to be something that would be uh, harmful to the forums? Just you know, basically, uh, dark dark stalkers. If you can uh, walk away I, with this, I honestly can't. Say, uh, like I said, I will. I, I'm not reading the 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 screen and the pictures. Just, what I just linked here in the chat. Um, are you able to look at the chat here for this call? Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll look at it right now. Like I said, uh, when I was done with it, Kyoko can say can say his piece, and I'll and it'll give me enough time to actually read all of this. Okay. Uh, so would you would you? I'm gonna mute myself just so you guys don't get the uh, the fan in okay. the the beep the background. Perfect. Uh, so, Darkstalkers, would you would you say? Can you kind of give us a little bit of background? You were having a bit of a back and forth with Wanglord, and then you decided to go to a private message. Uh, yes, that's correct. It was on the original thread uh, that pertained to uh, Revan announcing, uh, you know, in, uh, the in regards to me thread. Uh, and within that thread, uh, it was, uh, let's see, ah, yes, it was Wanglord, and I believe uh, Onyx, we may have conversed a bit on there. But uh, basically, there was a bit of, uh, I, I guess you could say, misunderstanding with how I post in terms of bolding certain words, etc. Okay. And at that point, uh, I kind of told him, hey, you know, just so that we're not having this big, long discussion between ourselves that's really going off topic, um, let's go ahead and just take this to PM. Um, and I'm... I'm almost wondering if maybe that's what tipped off Onyx to take a look. But uh, anyway, after that, uh, we started the conversation in which I, uh, you know, was just kind of explaining my point of view to him, saying that, you know, I, I get what you were, uh, I get what you were saying. I know that I may have messed up as far as words I bolded, uh, unnecessary emphasis, 
and then explained my reasoning behind uh, my uh, feelings about Onyx's abuse of power. Okay. At that point, his abuse of power was just simply changing someone's name. Uh, he he thought that uh, Dr. Fizz, good guy Greg, was actually me. Um, and then instead of basically, instead of looking at his post, he just said, Oh, let me, uh, I got you, Fred. I'll just change your name for you. And changed his name to good guy Fred. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interject there. That's at uh, that point where... Uh, the, the, on Twitter, uh, I got a tweet by Raisin Cinnamon, and I think, uh, who was it? I know that I got a tweet by Raisin Cinnamon and someone else that, they, they both said, what do you think about this other, this post that Onyx meant? And I'm saying, what post? I did not know what they were talking about until I saw the thread. Right there, I wanted, I wanted to, my head was about to explode. Mm -hmm. uh, I remained calm, I spoke with Anna saying, what is happening? What are people saying that, that, that you changed uh, another, another user's member? Uh, we spoke that it, it was presumably that it was you, Fred. And and it was an innocent joke, and I tell him, dude, you can't do that. We are the staff of the community that that DSP has built. We have to remain professional about it. Excuse me. Ugh. And he said that I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not feeling too well, and I don't know why I actually did that. And I and I, I and I accepted that. Uh, okay, I understand. <laughs> Then a couple of minutes later, I went to the thread, still pissed off, I'm still uh, still uh, still mad about it, and oh no, first first of all, I went to I went to Twitter, to to see where was the point of all this happening. I went to Good Guy Greg, I spoke to him, I apologized for for what was happening to him. I then went to the thread and I. I love the thread, and I said that on behalf of the staff that we apologize for what has happened to what has been happening to Good Guy Greg. Uh, it shouldn't have been done. If the name was offensive, then the name change won't warrant it, but it wasn't. That we will take further precautions that this doesn't happen again. Thank you, and thank you for your patience. I think I said that at last, but I'm not not don't remember. Okay. Go so uh, go on. Uh, Revan, were you able to see the Imgur link that I posted here? Yeah, I'm in the third page. Uh, okay. I, I, I just needed to interject there, but yeah, continue where so you guys were. let's start with the first page. Uh, if you would please go back to the first image. Um, this is where Onyx okay. comes in. You can see he says, I'd love to address some of your concerns about me, guys, if you would just allow me. There are so many accusations towards me in here, I don't even know where to start. Then he begins quoting messages that were higher up in the uh, in the conversation thread he then goes on to say that you know English is his second language and then he says secondly I'd say the biggest power trip is adding myself to this conversation uninvited so he knows that he is admittedly on a power trip and that this is an abuse of power that he's adding himself to the thread or to the conversation um, now, does this does this look like solid proof to you um, that Onyx has abused his power as an administrator by going into someone's account or looking into private messages when there is not some sort of threat to the community or when there is not? Some Honestly, sort of the the only way if I'd see the entire page that this okay. is actually a PM no because this is this is only this is only uh, how should I say this? Here you go. Only part of the, only part of the message. It, it's not showing me the entire the entire browser that this is actually coming from a PM. Okay. So if I can also I can so I can only judge from what I'm seeing. Of course. If you would please click on the mega link that I posted in the chat, and then if you would right click on the first thumbnail, it says Onyx Pudding. That's our slang for proof. We say the proof is in the pudding. Yep. Um, the first one is called Onyx Pudding. 
Uh, download that, and then you can see. You'll have to zoom in a lot because uh, what Darkstalkers here did um, is he just screen capped the entire page um, so that you can see everything. Yeah. So uh, if you would download that, that would be your evidence that this is indeed a private message. Yeah. I just want to add the something. In the stream chat? No, here in the here in the the Skype chat. Okay, give me. Let me actually look for it. I just want to add something. To me, this looks like he was specifically targeting dark stalkers because I don't believe that he would have time to go through every message, every private message that comes up on that forum to see if there's anything threatening going on. So, to me, it looks like he's specifically targeting people that don't like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's no way he can go through every PM and scan it to see if there's anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Well, this directly, I've talked with um, you know admins of different different uh, different forums and stuff like that that use. This Are you? Ta system. I'm sorry. Do you want me to actually uh, click the the mega the mega dot co yes, link? Yes. Click the mega link, and then okay, you're going okay. to see two thumbnails. One is going to say Onyx Pudding, and one is going to say Onyx Pudding Two. You can download both because this was a two-page private message chain. Mm -hmm, okay. Well, go on. Don't don't mind me. Sure. Um, so um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, um, so what I was shown was that um, the way that you would do something like this, other than just being able to scan them all together, is you would go into the admin control panel, you would go to the user, select sign in as user, and then from there go into their private messages. And then he used, and that makes sense because he was added to the conversation. Joel, you still got like some crackling really bad. Um, sorry about that. Give me a minute to fix it. Okay, thanks, man. Um, you can see that he was added to the conversation, so he most likely used Darkstalkers or Wanglord, either one, used their account to add himself as a participant to the private message chain, then went back into his Onyx account and then started responding to both of them after he wasn't happy with what they were saying about him privately, which, at the end of the day, they were just kind of saying he's a dick. They weren't saying, like, oh, we're going to do this or that to the forums, we're going we're gonna, to uh, DDoS the forums or anything that would be damaging. They were just saying, I don't like his approach. And uh, if you want, I can also screenshot and upload... Um, where this all started from, like what the conversation was that uh, that began. Um, so let me do that for everybody. But uh, Revan, have you been able to download the files? Yeah, I I'm looking at the picture right now, the one with said that on exploding. Okay. Yep, the first one. Yep. Uh. And also, uh, we had our friend Dark Stalkers here take a video. Um, so just in case there's any sort of accusation that these uh, that this was at all photoshopped or anything like that, um, we had Dark Stalkers here go to his inbox and use OBS to basically screen record and take a video of him logging into into his account, going to the inbox and doing all that stuff, which I would say would probably be pretty difficult to to fake that. So. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at the page right now, and I can see both sides of the coin. There's one thing that I that I never really liked about the forums, and it's that if you that if you added someone into the conversation, mm -hmm. that you you wouldn't see who uh, who was the one that that added who to the conversation. Okay, but you can see that he himself says that he invited himself into the conversation uninvited. Okay, let me actually read that part. It's in his response. It's in Onyx's first response. If you look here, we're at page one. We've got Darkstalkers, Wanglord, Darkstalkers, Wanglord, Darkstalkers, and then Onyx. It says two hours ago. Um, um, on the 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 first, the first one, page. Yep, the, the first the, page. no 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 no. I'm just saying the the first uh, the the first the first two sentence, sentences, the first oh, paragraph, or um, the second after, paragraph. After the first quote, the second paragraph. Secondly, I'd say the biggest power trip is adding myself to this conversation uninvited. Wow. Okay. And type wow. Who's typing? Real Helm. Yeah. We can hear you uh, typing on your keyboard. It's really loud. 
Uh, All right, so that's enough of that. I'm shocked about this, honestly. Uh, of course. That's why we wanted to have you on and get a genuine reaction because, as you said, you know, just changing someone's name is a flagrant abuse of power. But what we have here is someone who didn't like the way people were talking about his actions. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to go into this guy's account and I'm going to see what he's been up to. And namely, I'm going to go in his private messages and I'm going to read through them. Because to be able to rec recognize that people were talking about him, he went through and he read those private messages. And no one did anything that warranted that. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to say this, that I wish that the forums had the ability to show who actually added into another person's account. Well, I mean, and I'm... I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's very clear that he added himself to the conversation. Second, I'm reading the part that. Secondly, I like to say that the biggest power trip is adding myself to this conversation uninvitedly. So he admits uh, himself in text that he's the one that added himself to that conversation. I'm shocked about this, honestly. Uh. uh I'm actually kind of disappointed, really. And this uh, has big implications for everyone in those forums because no one is safe with anything they've put privately. If Phil, if you win a prize from Phil and he contacts you on the forum's private messages, your address, your private information could be given. If you talk to your friend on there and he says, let's watch Netflix, and he says, I don't have an account, oh, sure, here's my email and password. We can both log into my Netflix account. There's so many different things where people's privacy is at risk now because we have an administrator who will go and will be petty and is self basically he's self interested. If, if there's let's, something, let's let's not go. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. This that is he, a this is go. a possibility. Oh, okay, oh. but I'm saying that this is a possibility. I mean, he was he was salty about somebody not liking him, so he butted himself into his private conversations. How petty can you get? Yeah. Well, could I add something? Absolutely. Well. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they like them or not. It's clear that, like, it's still wrong to do it because it's invading someone's privacy, and he hasn't doesn't have a right to do that. Nowhere nobody does let, the state. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I know. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, of course, nobody has the right to invade another person's privacy. But as I said previously, if the administrator believes that this member was threatening the the website or forum, he can justify. It. I'm, yeah, not but you seeing, can, I'm not. I'm not seeing in the picture that that it's just that it's justifiable what he's actually doing. Well, that's the thing. How are you supposed to tell when something is private or personal? You'd have to go through other people's messages to find that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, is he is he really going through everyone's private messages or is he targeting well, specific people? Just, how are you supposed to know the people. difference? We don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, I bet you he's just picking specific people, and watching over their messages. And uh, I think that they should make a disclaimer, and uh, oh, when you sign up for the forum, they should let everyone know that their yep. personal messages might be let let the people know the truth. Yeah. yeah, let them know that by signing up to this, you're giving up your right to privacy to have private messages. Or at least no tell them that their messages that. might be monitored. I actually have. I'm uploading this to Imgur right now. Um, the actual terms of service where you register. There is no mention of it, and we can also link the thread where the official rules are. That would take a little bit longer to read through. Um, but here in the chat, um, and also Moogle if you want to put this too, um, here oh are the God. terms of service that you register with. And in nowhere here um, does it say anything. And as a matter of fact, here one of the rules, you agree through your use of the service that you will not use this website to dot, 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 post anything that is, quote, invasive of a person's privacy. So Mr. Onyx here is actually breaking the rules of his own forum. Are you asking? Are you asking me or someone else? Just, just putting that out there in general. Okay. So you know, um, this is a serious problem, and I hope that um, we can call attention to this. Yeah. And I, I'd like to just give. An open, an open statement to Phil. Uh, Phil, if you're somehow listening to this or if you somehow hear this or if someone tells you about this, Phil, you have to address this. You have to either talk with Onyx or you have to make a public statement. These are your forums. You take responsibility by putting people like Onyx into power. And if you continue to use him and continue to have him in power as your administrator, 
you take responsibility for his actions. You need to let your user base know exactly what's going on on your forums and that their privacy is at stake. And if you don't, you openly don't care about your fan base and their privacy using your service. You must take action on this. This is not fake. This has not been photoshopped. This isn't propaganda. This isn't slander. No one has manufactured this. This is legitimate and we have proof in every way you could possibly want. Photographs, video, and actual people testifying that this is what happened. You must take action on this. Because if you don't, then your users are going to know that, you, that they don't matter to you. The only thing that matters to you is getting free work done and doing the bare minimum to get by and have other people do work for you. And it doesn't matter what kind of people they are, if they're trustworthy or whatever. You're seeing right now, this is unethical. And in some places, if this wasn't a private message board, this would be illegal. Straight up. I'm, yeah. I'm speechless <laughs> like, about this. Well, eventually someone's going to bring it up and it's going to blow up. Like Phil yeah. can't ignore it forever. I'm sure he's going to keep doing that. Yeah. Exactly. This is, but on this the table, is really alarming. Because he knows he's fucked. But on the table, yeah. I know he's going to find... Figure, uh, someone's going to talk to him or someone's going to notify him. He's going he's gonna to get some word about this and he has to respond. Because what if he sees this? What is he going to say? Yeah. But what's really most is, Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. No, I'm like, go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, like, what are you going to do? Are you just going to ignore it? He, he can ignore shit. He's he ignored plenty of stuff, but... This is yeah. really... It's a really home. serious issue. Like, you can't ignore it. Yeah, and all the blame can be put on to a person that you gave power to make your forums. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can see uh, him or Onyx trying to do, which I don't think would be very successful, but it may get some of his more devoted fans, such as KG, on board, is they might try and use this as, as an excuse to say, well... Uh, look at this, they're willing to go to such desperate measures to try to uh, get some kind of information on us that they're going as far as to, uh, you know, they might claim that, well, this was staged somehow, things like that. But if that's something that it would be hard to prove if he even tried to go that route. Yep. So, there you have it. There it is. I mean, if somebody wants to make, I, I would make a threat on this, but uh, well, I'd be you know. willing to make a threat, though. Mm -hmm. Like, probably there'd be a risk I could get banned. Yeah, I mean, someone is going to have to make a threat about this. Let let the community decide, because not everybody. Of course, a lot of people turned out here to to view this, and a lot of people from the thread wanted to know about this. But um, that isn't the entire community. This isn't the entire community that's here. The people that are most well, affected by this are the users of that forum, and they need to know what's going on. Well, yeah, they, gonna, well, yeah, they uh, can't keep them in the dark forever. They eventually, they have to know. I've talked to. Close that thread down. If they close the thread down, then they are openly endorsing this type of behavior, and well, they don't want the community to know about it. I mean, they, they close it. All they're doing is just hurting the community even more. Uh, you know, this is serious. I mean, you know, Phil has his uh, giveaways and shit where he contacts people. I mean, I think people should be alarmed, especially the winners, if mm -hmm. they're giving their information to this guy. And he has his administrator looking through people's shit like a weirdo. Yep. That's not drama. It's something serious. Unless exactly. you like your personal information being invaded. But that's on you. Exactly. People have a right to know. I obviously would, but the thing is that it's concerning a private message between... Uh, the addition of three members, yeah. and my my code of ethics won't allow that. That's because fine. I because I have to ask permission for to all three members, and I'm sure I'm not gonna get uh, a, a unanimous decision. So well, we do I, have I, I, oh, we do have Wanglord I, here right now. Uh, yeah. Wanglord, if you're in the chat, um, would you consent to having your uh, private message posted? Um, because obviously you're aware of this happening. Um, you would be another person that would be able to say that it happened. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure that you didn't go public for whatever reasons. Maybe you dislike the SOK and you didn't want to help us. But, um, you know, this is obviously by staying quiet about it, you're hurting the community and you're not hurting us. We will exist whether this scandal happens or not. 
Um, and this scandal isn't make or break for us or anything like that. The thing, this, is, that it's Wang, the thing is that it's Wangler, Darkstalker, and Onyx. Yes, you need but we have Darkstalkers here. He, he gave yeah, permission. This, this conversation, as far as I'm concerned, belongs to Wanglord and belongs to... Okay. Yeah, okay, fair all point, fair all point, fair point. Himself in. Yeah. So by inviting himself into that conversation, he gave up any right to say that that was private. That's not his private conversation. He invaded no. theirs. No, it's oh, so, okay, yeah, that, that, that's a good point. So I, I retract what I said. So if we get Wanglord's permission... And Wangler, like I said, he said, and I don't give a fuck. You can use all my shit. The more drama you create, the better entertainment for me. So there you go. I can screen cap that. Wanglord so, himself has given permission that we can use this yeah, thread. Wanglord so, going in. So, there you go. So I guess it's on a board. It's a unanimous right? decision. Darkstalkers, do you give your permission for the... There you go. Written permission. Yep. Oh, so man. there it is. All right. This is now public. So who's going to make the thread win? Well, I mean, I would, but uh, yeah, I'm public call. enemy number one. So, I, and I don't uh, care. I, I would, but I have enough warning points. <laughs> I just made my account just for I, this, but I, I'm hosting the call, and I don't want to turn on a VPN just I, to do I don't that. even have an account there, so I could uh, do it. There you go. Well, do you want to risk your account, though? Because you're probably – I mean, I don't think they could ban you for posting this because it's a legitimate thing. I'd be willing to do it, honestly. And you're not breaking any rules. I honestly wouldn't care if I if I did it at this point. I'm pretty much on my account's on its last legs. I Someone's saying, on saying that Kyoko is the best bet. All right, well, Kyoko, if you want to be a martyr for the cause, uh, I'm willing I think to make the good. sacrifice. Let's say I could do having used my Power account sacrifice. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's better than drill doesn't though. Yep. Yeah, I think I'd be able to get the message out better if I did it. And people respect you and trust you. So um, I will private message you all of the different evidence. Uh, excuse me. I'll private message you all the different things that you'll need. Um, let me just go on Mega real quick and get you all that stuff. Um, here's the full combo here. I was about to say something I forgot. Damn. That's fine. Um, like, do you, you know, do you have any thoughts coming off of this? I mean, is it a lot to take in? You seem like you were a little bit overwhelmed by this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that's a fucking understatement. You know, I mean, uh, none of us wanted this to be this way. Of course, you know, we would, we would like it better if this isn't the state of the forums. But you know, um, there's a certain responsibility that we have to have. Um, to you know, draw the line and say, look, this is unacceptable, and people's private information is at stake, and no one was given warning. If we knew that this, now we do know that it's going on. But if we knew that this was going on before, just imagine how many people just you know carelessly went and and posted whatever they wanted to. To to really to. Uh, <sighs> Take your time. <clears throat> I'm actually pretty sure that a lot of people in the in the stream chat are gonna have a lot of questions for me, and you guys personally are as well are gonna have some. Um, well, I mean, obviously the big thing is just your reaction. I think we've had a lot of your your reaction with this, but. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know, Kyoko's gonna gonna write the thread, and uh, I'm going to also give him a mega link to the video. Um, if you want to post the actual video where the um, where that took place, uh, let me find that link. It's a mega link. Where are you? But um, yeah, we wanted to make sure. Yeah, like I said, we wanted to I'm, make sure. That, the link right now. We wanted to make sure that everything was researched. We didn't want to just do this without, you know, making sure that this is all true. Uh, we wanted to check with all the sources. Obviously, uh, you know, Wanglord isn't the biggest fan of us, so I don't know if he would exactly help us with this, but, uh, you know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, that this was above board, I guess you could say. So, 
it's not it doesn't make any of us happy i mean you know this isn't really even an indictment on phil to be honest with you it's his staff and um you know uh revin you have to understand that you know for people that want phil to do well and want him to improve they have to recognize that these forums are an integral part of their business it says in the rules directly direct quote that these forums are an integral part of his business and you know if they're going to be run in such a way then it, at the end of the day it's going to hurt him and it's going to hurt his business well that was the thing when i originally uh came to you with this information fred was um as i said to you i wasn't thinking oh well you know this is some expose that i can get out it was just one of those things of it was an obvious violation of privacy and it kind of got me thinking that well if it's happened to me is there a chance this may have happened to someone else and no one's just said anything mm -hmm. so yeah like I said I it's not good it's definitely not good and like I said I I can see why people would not want to be part of this um, this forum and it's just you know it's it's very unsettling because now I think back of well what did I private message to people and I'm banned now so I can't go back and look at my private messages but I have to think you know what what did I tell people what did I what did I give up to other people what does onyx potentially have access to who else in the staff can do this you know it, it's it's really unsettling um, to be part of that forum and to have this going on and you know, obviously we actually, all. Sorry, I, I gotta say this. I'm not. Uh, some people are gonna actually be doubtful with what I said about the reporter KG. Please, someone, did someone actually screen cap what happened? Someone uh, in chat, did somebody screen cap what happened? With him saying he's talking out of his ass. Yeah, if so, if I appreciate if somebody did because if it if if no one did, I'm gonna be. It's gonna make me. It's uh, gonna make me so mad because they, they screen cap what I say, they download what I said on SoundCloud. Oh they shit! Actually screen, they actually they actually they screen cap what they actually say. Uh, what KG says sometimes, but not the damn. But not on the on the question had no Pixel Buster didn't say. Uh, says no. Uh, well, first of all, let me just interrupt you real quick, just to make a. I guess this is a. This is now a formal thing. I haven't noticed this earlier today. Um, I was about to say I'm gonna go to Dragon Killer's Twitter to check out and see if he has that screen cap because he most likely does. Uh, he has changed his name to DSP Text Version 2.0. Um, so, just in case anyone's wondering, uh, it seems as though Mr. Dragon Killer here is in fact the new. DSP text. He got promoted. He's been promoted. So congratulations, Dragon Killer. You've been doing, uh, as I said earlier in the, in the broadcast, you've been doing outstanding work. And what happened to the original? I'm sorry. Uh, I believe he just, AFK. you know, he's just been busy with other things. Um, so he retweeted something uh, like a couple of days ago on something else, but yeah, not much. Yeah, and you know it's possible that he just you know took a vacation or maybe he's away, but maybe he's working hard. You never know. But uh, it seems as though Mr. Dragon Killer is now DSP Text version 2.0. So uh, our congratulations. You deserve it. You you've been doing outstanding work over these um, these last months. Um, I can't even remember the first time that I noticed you actually doing this stuff, but I I did notice uh, you started to ramp up. The different coverage that you've been doing and what you've been doing has just been outstanding, man. Everything that happens, you're tweeting about it, you're screen capping about it. You don't see a bunch of, um, you know, not a bunch of commentary. You just present the facts, and um, you know, you are now a, a legitimate news source for things that are DSP. I think that you're, um, you know, I think that you're really going to do a good job here. So congratulations, man. We all support you, and um, you know, everything gonna... DSP or DSP related. Um, well, uh, I mean, I don't really see a lot of personal stuff. It just looks like all he, DSP. He talks about Bloodborne sometimes, but that's about it. So yeah, congratulations, man! DSP Text version 2.0. Yep. Awesome. Nice. Good friend of ours, member of the uh, member of the uh, who would you say? Anti DSP community. I guess so. I was gonna say the the subgroup, but. 
He's, he's one of our ranks. He's flying the flag, you could say. But good it's guy. Very objective. Great guy. Great guy. We're very happy about this. So, anyways, let me let me look through his uh, Twitter while you guys uh, fill the dead air. I just have to look and see if he does have that screen cap that they're talking about. Any of you guys got a question for me? How do you folks meet the SP? Good again? You know, watch this uh, content. What was the first time you watched his videos, he said? Or oh, okay, saw. with, who, with who, uh, who asked me that question? Anoko. Uh, repeat that again, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the first time you watched this piece content? The first time that I watched uh, Phil's content was, actually, let me act for the video, because I, I got it uh, saved on my favorites. Just to find the, the exact date, because I like to be very specific about uh, certain things. And would you look at it, that? Mr. Dragon Killer does have the fucking screen cap. My man. Okay, and the first time that I actually started watching Phil's content was in January 17, 2010. Uh, I, I was actually looking for Modern Warfare 2 videos, because um, that's where I started with the Call of Duty series. Uh, liking it even more. And then I, tar I, I type in uh, called uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, TDM uh, m uh, multiplayer, and in the first, in the, in I think it was the second or third, it gave me Dark Side Phil. It, it was part, it was part nine. Okay, I I, I open a, another window separate so I can actually watch this this video specifically. And he said he, he was doing it was doing terribly. Like uh, he he was um, he was completely negative. Like uh, with a KD of zero uh, zero point seven or point eight. And then at the literally at the what solidified myself as a fan of DSP. It was not something that he it was not something that he did in the game, but what someone did and he reacted to it. Somebody at the last kill cam, somebody chucked a grenade and it fell on this guy's head and he started laughing hysterically. Right there, I, I, I started busting out laughing so hard. I, wo I woke up my, my, my brother and my family just by that. It was, com it was completely hilarious. I, I couldn't stop laughing for a good, uh, good five, ten minutes because I was, rep I was like, going back, repeating the, the same thing over and over again. Uh, his reaction to people saying, oh, you like that, you, you like getting shit on the head, huh? And he immediately, like, laughing, at, laughing it off. At that point, I started watching his content even more. Uh, I watched his, his Heavy Rain pl playthrough. That was my, my first official playthrough with him. And from that point on, I... I, started, uh, I was a fan of his. I enjoyed his content ever since his Modern Warfare 2 videos. Awesome. Uh, next question, That's if great. anybody got one of the One of the things that I've been curious about is, obviously, since you're a fan of DSP and mod as well, um, it's Former mod. kind of... Or were a mod, I apologize. No worries. Uh, uh, but it seems like it is a definite balancing act. Uh, were there, uh, other than obviously the recent uh, incidents, were there any times in the past where it became kind of very difficult to try and uh, uh, keep to that quote-unquote middle ground to uh, kind of enforcing the rules and things like that and not uh, going to, I, I guess you could say, bias one way or the other? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, was that the oh, was that was that the question, or were you actually gonna add something else? No, 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 no. That was the question. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> go, go ahead. Ask me a question because I I thought you actually didn't ask it. I thought that when you finished with bias, I thought you were actually gonna make the question. I thought you were actually saying a, a statement and then the question. But go ahead. Ask me the question again. I'm sorry. Okay, my apologies. Uh, the question basically was um, as a. When you were a mod on the forum, was it difficult to kind of uh, rem stay unbiased, basically, in a lot of the uh, decisions and handling of the forum? I have to say that it was 80-20, 80 unbiased, 20 biased. 
uh, there were cer uh, there were certain things that I didn't want to voice my opinion in because it was very difficult for me to talk about. Uh, there were some things, many things that were easy to actually interject it with, but there were some moments that that I really couldn't voice my opinion. I needed uh, in that uh, in those specific moments, I needed to remain quiet and see how things played out. So oh. it's it's honestly an in 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 AD twenty split. Who am I speaking with right now? Okay, mobile. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm 26. 20? So you're older than me? Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, I did not know you were 26. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were a lot younger. Yeah, the, the, I'll actually share something about that. The reason, I, I get this told multiple, multiple times that I sound a lot younger than what I'm supposed to. And if you guys seen a picture of my, of my face in real life, you'll, you'll say that I'm bullshitting, that, I, that I'm 26. You'll, you'll literally say that I'm fucking bullshitting. Okay. Because I, uh, because I have a baby face. Okay. No, no, no shit. I got a baby face. I want to acknowledge something. For people that don't know, I just asked... <laughs> I just asked Ravon, or Riven, what do you want to call Revan. you? Revan. 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 It's, it's pronounced Revan. Like, okay. Revan from, uh, I'm, like I'm so, I don't know why, so I like to say Riven, I, I don't know why, but anyway. So basically, for people that don't know, is that I asked Revan how old he was, because, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Degar Dribba said that. Um, and another question from the chat, actually, is from Raisin Cinnamon. Uh, Raisin Cinnamon says, uh, Revan said DSP was kind to him via PM. My question is, why does he act so hostile on Twitter, then? What's Revan's opinion? Excuse me, I didn't quite understand that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Revan said DSP was kind to him via PM. My question is, why does he act so hostile on Twitter, then? What's Revan's opinion? Why DSP acts hostile on, on Twitter, or...? Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much what he's saying is that, uh, yeah, you say that Phil is nice to you via PMs, but Phil acts very hostile on Twitter uh, when you're talking to him publicly. What's your opinion on that? I honestly can't really because there are many reasons why DSP is sometimes hostile in Twitter, basically because everybody can 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 see his tweets that, that are completely public and use it against him, try to antagonize him. Uh, when for, for, com for complete example, something that he, that he has never posted before. That, uh, let's say... Sorry. That, <laughs> sorry, a oh, fucking mosquito was bothering me. Uh, that he, let's say... He won five thousand dollars on the lottery. Let's just say it. he won five thousand dollars, and he actually and he actually uh, tweets it and says that he that is using half of it for improvements around the house, like fixing the the leak of the roof that you, we all know he has, uh, things like that. And then people started saying, oh, you, why don't you do it, put it on equipment, something more important, and, and he, just, he just blows up because people are just being negative about it, instead of, uh, instead of like saying, oh, cool. Uh, that's one of the reasons, because people can actually take something positive and then uh, still, some, still see something negative in it. And, and I think that's what bothers Phil. Instead of seeing instead of seeing the the uh, a negative in that positive, just like say okay, cool, and and just move on. That's why I believe that some why I feel is sometimes hostile in twi in Twitter. All right. Um, do you want me to move on to the next question? Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. This is come. This comes from our friend Kamasubu. Hey, yeah, Ryan. I was 
Yeah, okay. He said, Hey, Revan, do you believe that Phil is playing a character and he's actually smarter than he comes off? Uh, most of the times, I do... Uh, I, I want to believe that he is playing the dark side Phil character. That's what I have been believing for most of the time. I do... Uh, I will admit there have been some times that he is actually putting himself into his character. That he is become that he in, in public is dark side Phil, and, and or or that dark, dark side Phil is becoming Phil Burnell. All right, um, are you are you done? So like, so I can move on to the next question. I, I just wanted to make sure that you're finished giving your piece to the question. Uh, uh, I do believe that sometimes when when some when something very important. Like uh, something during Ask the King, where it's actually Bill Burnell actually say, uh, saying this. The character Dark Side Phil appears, and it actually gets confused for him. So, if Phil Burnell actually says something offensive, it's actually Dark Side Phil, and nobody would, would would notice. But it's actually, but it's becoming both both entities are. Be what I'm saying is sometimes. Both entities are, are the same person. They're the same one in real life. So That's you're it. saying, so you're saying, like off screen, he acts completely different. Uh, it could be. I couldn't say 100 percent of the times, but he could act as a completely different person in uh, off screen. Don't well, get don't get me wrong. I believe that he's a good guy in real life. Although I I never met him. Well, it's a hypothetical question. We've, I mean, hypothetical answer. Ugh. Okay, well, I just asked because we had um, the Airy Lord come on once, and he basically said something along the lines of, when he went to go see Phil in person and at his condo at the time, and he said, oh, he acted like a completely different person. He was much more quiet, and uh, he, didn't, he didn't really like, seem very social or interactive when they were talking to him. He just seemed more quieter. So I find that funny that... I don't really see the quiet DSP most of the time. Most of the time, it's very, very uh, on edge. Very, you know, not when aggressive. When you're when you're when you're playing a game, you're so focused on a game. Wouldn't you actually be quieter as well? Yeah, well, well yeah, most of the but time also he does that with vlogs. He does that with pretty much. He has that kind of attitude um, in pretty much all of his videos. I've never seen him just be you know quiet and. Some of his older videos, I would say, would act you know more gentle and quieter and not be very loud as he is now. I'd say he's you know very uh, very he projects his voice a lot and just seems kind of I like I said I wouldn't say aggressive, but uh, yeah. But, but, but I can't. But I but the only thing that I can say is that we'll, we can only know for ourselves once we meet him in real life. Yeah. That that's that's the a definitive but, answer that I can only say. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, but you said like, oh, the real DSP, the real Phil Burnell, you know, pops in. But I just want to know, like, I don't really know what that what that would you know, signify. How would it be different? Because you could just say, oh, he said something that was a little, you know, the strange. The character, the, the character Dark Side, to my understanding, and to what Phil has uh, said before in, in in videos years ago. Is that the the character Dark Side Phil is an average gamer that rages a lot, insult insult other players, the dead the, the and the insult developers when something is not right. And uh, and I believe that sometimes that actually permeates to the real life person known as the uh, Phil Burnell. Okay, but uh, what I was saying was when he's doing vlogs and stuff, you know he's. Just this, just today, he was talking, saying about Nintendo or Lita's dicks and pricks or whatever. I just feel like uh, the, your thing is that if if you're playing a game, that's his character when he's playing a game. But you're saying that also leaks into his vlogs and reviews and all the other stuff. Because what I'm saying is, in pretty much all of his videos for the past four to five years, he's acted very vocal and not very, you know, quiet or humbling or you know anything like that. So I just question that. Okay. I be yeah. completely I can be completely off base and I and I wouldn't know anymore. But yeah, that is also a possible but yeah, that's also a good answer. Yeah. Um someone brought up James 
uh, ABGN. Um, I guess what he's trying to say is like he has his character, the angry video game nerd, but he also does his own stuff where it seems like it's just him where he does plays his own games. I don't, I don't watch him. I literally don't watch that guy. Okay, well, I'm just saying he has his own character, but he also has a very, you know... He has his character, and then he has himself, while DSP just has yeah. DSP all the time. And it doesn't seem like there's a difference between DSP and Phil Burnell. It really just seems like him. And while I think he might be exaggerating while he's playing games, I think that elsewhere, I think that really is how he acts. So, okay. That's just my view. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I hate to be rude, but we... No, uh, no, go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say, we have a guest caller, so... Yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead, go All ahead. Right. Welcome right. in the one and only Cyanide Caesar. Good evening. How's it going, buddy? I'm doing very well. I had the privilege of uh, speaking with Moogle on uh, his uh, time in eternity, or... Oh, hey, Caesar, it's been a while. How are you uh, doing? <laughs> you just realized it was me, didn't you? No, 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 I was making a joke. How are you doing, man? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Um, Just uh, sitting here. Just chilling? Waiting uh -huh. to wait in to talk with us? Yeah, I was kind of like, I was kind of just like twiddling my thumbs for like the past three minutes. I was like, okay, when am I going? <laughs> well, All it's right. nice to see you on, man. Yeah, I know. How have you been? Um, I've been doing jolly good. Well, uh, it's, it's great. Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> well, um, Mr. Cyanide, do you have any... Uh, oh, sorry to cut you off. What were you going to say? No, no, no. no. Go. Do you have any opinions on um, everything that's broken so far? You know, obviously, uh, demoting for talking with us and, and banning a patron. Um, we've got the scandal here with uh, one of the administrators abusing his power and abusing people's um, privacy. Um, do you have any opinions on all these developments here tonight? Well, I actually spoke with Revan once before. Um, he actually gave when me was that? Um, I w I'm Diamond Daedalus too. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, it was just no. I jumped the gun on something, and you, and um, I remember you took it very well. You took it in stride. You um, you are a very fair mod. So when I heard that you were demoted, I just didn't understand it. I mean. It just seems rather odd. So, because you talked with somebody else, that means that you're automatically against them now. That no, just doesn't uh, make any logical sense. I'm gonna actually say this because I spoke with uh, I spoke with another person in Skype uh, yesterday. Mm. I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, that anybody in the mod staff, uh, anybody in the mod staff has the right to speak with whoever they want. As long as they do not give any sensitive form mod information, anybody has the right to speak with whoever they want. But as long as, as long as they don't compromise the the trust and information presented to to them with uh, within privately in the mod section. All right. Um. I mean, could you consider KG being banned? Uh, no, because I made it public. Yeah. Yeah, it was public. I, public. I didn't understand that. That's why I didn't understand that why you were demoted regardless. So I just I just find it unnecessary to demod you. I mean, you were very you were very fair on the forums to both sides. Um I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I and the thing is that they knew that I spoken with Fred with Fred previously before during the entire loophole dark side phil patreon parody account because everybody knew and i told them that i went to talk to fred so i could mediate between phil and loophole so that can be a peaceful resolution everybody knew that and i never got shit for it so i really don't know why was the what's what was the problem this time for there must have been something I, i'm sure there it runs a bit deeper but regardless it shouldn't really matter at this point yeah agreed um, is there anything you want to ask me, guys? Or uh, guys, are, he's talking to you. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Sorry, I was I was reading something. Um, yeah. actually, where did you first hear about DSP? Oh, that is a long, long time ago. Back <laughs> in two thousand nine, I was a twelve-year-old annoying little bitch. Um, and I I found out. I don't know. Like I, I watched um what a what was it? It was a Resident Evil thing co op he did with uh John Rambo. I think it was one of the DLCs. And I like and 
a lot of people can attest to this. He was a lot different back then. He was a lot. He was much more genuine when he talked. Mm-hmm. I mean, he cursed a lot, but it was like, oh, what do I care? Um, he just—he was just very fun. He—he he was very like. Yeah, he was hilarious whenever he cursed. Super hilarious. He was. Um, what was it? Yeah, he was. I mean, not. I mean, sometimes like I kind of grew out of it after a while. I mean, it was just. Ugh. I mean, I, it just, it's just very annoying now, like, to see how far he's fallen. It's just like, it's like, how do you go from being like, I, what, one thing, when I first, um, started not liking him was when he first, uh, called himself the Howard Stern of gaming. Um, now, here's the thing, I'm a Howard Stern fan, and he acts nothing like him whatsoever, aside from saying hey now, once in a while. It's just very atrocious hey how... Now. Hey now. I have to say hey now. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's just very like... I mean, Howard Stern does get like crap for like being like obnoxious sometimes, but at the same time he does he does respond to criticism. He is able... He's, he's also very ballsy in when he talks. He does talk to people. He like He's genuine with people. He makes sure he kno- he knows what he's saying, mm-hmm. what you're saying. Yeah, what he's saying. Damn it. Um. So I just feel like he. Ha- it's just it just doesn't fit him whatsoever. It, and I think he just says that it's because he doesn't he doesn't do anything. He wasn't really in depth with like the gaming. Co- I don't think he really was in depth with the gaming community, like knowing what everybody want, wanted especially considering how much he fucked up on game, Gamergate um, it just, it's just very odd I don't know, I don't know how to describe it um, well that leads into my next question actually what really, what threw you off from watching him? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that probably did oof, yeah, where do we get on that? <laughs> um, it was I, well, that that's when I first... That was the red flag for me, when he called himself the Howard Stern of gaming. Um, and it was around the time you guys came around as well, Sons of Kojima. No, it was actually when Kojima World of Order started to come around. Um, he had actually... I don't know. A lot of people who've seen his content in the past, like in 2011, he did actually have another group against him. It was called a DSP Cult Leader. Mm-hmm. Which... Which actually, uh, 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 FYI, if you didn't know, that's that was actually rankless. To what to for to what I was told, the SP what? cult leader was actually rankless. Rankless? I I actually don't have any idea who that is. So the the, the first the first the first uh, guy that that went ape shit in the in the first generation forums that he got literally got banned like within a week that the first forums was made. And, uh, then, and then and then started and then people started making memes about him, saying rankless for president, rankless for admin, rankless for mo- a, a lot of stuff. DSP yeah. cult leader, from what I've been, from what I was told, is rankless. But yeah, go go ahead. To those that um, didn't know. Where wait, what was the question again? I just got messed up. My bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. What threw you off from um, DSP? The, yeah, yeah. What threw us off? Threw yeah. us off. Um. I guess when this this how this is how you don't play started going on um, starting. I think Evil AJ was one of the first ones I've ever seen. Oh, there the you pioneer. go, AJ. Another another goddamn plug for him. Of course. I mean, <laughs> he he, he's everywhere. He's like he Kojima was. now. <laughs> yeah. He is. Yeah. yeah. Um. So he was he was one of the first people I watched. I think I think it was probably the Metal Gear Solid three playthrough that like was my deciding factor. It was just. It's just like ha- it was painful ow. to watch. It was. It so was painful. painful. It was so painful. I, I don't. At that point, I don't know if Phil was being serious, or he was actually, or he was actually blind to specific things. But the the controls were right in front of you when when, when you actually went to a weapon. He actually told you how to zoom in. It was right. Uh, uh, I, I just. What don't, a laugh. I just do I just don't understand how. It, it, the thing is, here's. It's kind of a rinse and repeat kind of thing. He'll he will um analyze he doesn't really analyze a situation well. Like 
and then as soon as he's done analyzing, which is very quick, he then makes these like quick judgments out of nowhere that just screws him up in the end. And forgets later. Forgets it, and let's and not forget it ever. Ha- yeah, forgets it ever happened in the first place. Like some time, some kind of Alzheimer's patients or something like that. Um, he he's just very. I don't know. It's just like. I'm gonna personally admit that the only the, the the first and only this is how you don't play video I have ever saw was the Metal Gear Solid Three. It's the only one that that I ever saw and the only one I will ever see. The 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 last one. Hey, just out of my curiosity, just because I like asking this to people, what are your thoughts on Panda Lee? Are you asking me? Yes. Uh, she's a she's a decent person, but she uh, does. T- she, actually, let me finish. She okay. does. T- she does tend to be problematic at times. I, I have I have no beef with her. She's she she has been polite to me in the past. But I, I noticed that she has been somewhat antagonistic at times in in stream chat, in Twitch, and uh, I honestly wish that she didn't went there okay. to begin with, to causing trouble. I let mean, me, let me pose you the final question, and then we'll wrap. And we'll get out of here. We'll do our outros. Let me pose you a final question, uh, Revan. Mm-hmm. What do you think uh, is the future of the forums? Now that we know what's going on there, now that um, now that a lot of the user base has left and a lot of people are sort of uh, disenfranchised, um, what do you think are the future of the forums? Do you think that we need new staff? Do you think that we'll see staff leave because of the scandal? Um, do you think that there will be a turnover? Uh, what do you see as the future of the forums? Uh... It, this being true of Onyx getting inside the, a message, he's gonna have to explain himself to the chat on why he did it. Uh, based on that, it, it's to step is to most of the members' decision if they want to leave staff or not. So it's actually a fifty-fifty. I I personally don't think that it's gonna aff- affect much. Although I know people are gonna be freaking outraged by by this little PM thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the uh, another subject? Another thing that you to- asked me about? And what should happen moving forward? I believe that there should be more than one administrator, one a- more than one active administrator that knows. Uh, <laughs> Tech stuff, uh, bless you. Tech, technic, technical things, uh, of forums, computer things. Uh, because if there's more than one administrator th- with the knowledge, I-, I believe that the forum can can strive better. Right now, it it can actually remain stagnant, increase very slowly, or decrease very slowly. Okay. So it's it's really. Anything is possible. I can't say for a definitive that this is gonna happen. That be because I'm not that. I'm not the people. I cannot. I cannot assume for them or decide for them. But I can only be open-minded to say anything is ha- is gonna. Anything can happen with what uh, the SOK has uh, shared today. Uh, and. That's okay. all I can say for the time being, really. And then uh, the last thing I would just add to that, um, I believe I saw Onyx in the chat. Do you have any words towards Onyx, um, you know, based on this, any sort of words of encouragement, what he should do moving forward, or just anything that you're thinking right now, what you would tell Onyx? Uh, It's it's very it's very hard really because I've spoken with him many times, and I feel comfortable talking with him. Uh, I I always was happy talking with him, uh, talking about multiple things, tech stuff, and seeing this actually makes me disappointed and kind of sad. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if it's something in real life that actually drives him to do something like this irresponsibly. I, I, I really can't say on uh, if it actually is or not, but I wish that, Onyx, that you relax, a, uh, take a bit of a time off, relax a bit, find someone that, that this is just my suggestion. And I hope you can actually consider this. Take time off like I did in January. Take time off to relax and and put the forum behind you for the time being. Because when I I took time off, it was in a moment that I was gonna blow out of my fucking mind. I was gonna uh take a lot of my anger doing specific things that were happening uh, during the first two weeks of the forums. Excuse me, wow. No problem. And it can actually affect you. If you actually aff if you let the forum affect you that much, it's, it can actually affect your, your decisions. So I say take a break for a month. Look for someone you can trust. That you can literally trust run the forums uh, in your stead, while you while you take time to to settle other things that you can focus on other things. Because if you let the forum be part of your workload, it it's not it's not going to be very good for you. It can actually affect you in school or work or w whatever. I, I say just take a month off and just relax. That's it. All right. So, again, thank you very much for your time, uh, Revan. We really appreciate it, and we very much respect the fact that you were a man of your word. You said you would come on, and you did just based on that, and you said yourself that you wanted to keep your promise to come on. So we all respect that. I think a lot of people in the community got to know you better. And I also want to, um, I also want to apologize for everybody for being late. Uh, I'm going to explain. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking where, where I was that I wasn't here earlier. The thing is that during very early in the afternoon, my grandmother wanted me to go with her to the inauguration to, uh, of a new mall. I, I went with her, and the thing is that by the time that we left, it was already 5.50. Uh, no, not, I lie. Not 5.50, like 5.30. She wanted to go to the other mall, the the more, the more re renowned one here in Puerto Rico. And because she she's looking for something to buy for her, for my cousin that, that's getting married at the end of this month. So I honestly couldn't say no to her. I, I really couldn't say no. I couldn't tell her that, hey, I need, just leave me home. I need to get to a podcast. I, I really couldn't say no to her because she, she needed my help. So uh, she well, we went our separate ways there. I went to, to, to the Microsoft and just waited there. I, got, I went on chats. I, I focused on uh, Ask the King for the time being. And, yeah, until we left and got here home. So I apologize for coming for coming in late. No, no, it's completely fine, man. We understand. That's and, cool. You know, no worries, man. Um, like I said, we appreciate it's you coming. Good. And what were you gonna say? Just say it's all good. Oh, okay. I, just didn't, I just didn't want people thinking that I would. Uh, I didn't want people getting sketchy thoughts that I was trying to avoid this. Nah, uh, it's it was real life stuff that I really that was that I had no control over. So you didn't seem like you were gonna avoid it anyway. You you were kind of ready for it to begin with. So I don't think anybody would think that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, again, uh, Revan, we really appreciate it. And, um, you know, could you say for yourself that coming on there was no slander, there was no manipulation, you were, a you were able to say whatever you wanted, we didn't uh, force you to say anything you didn't want, and, and we treated this fairly, and we just, you know, we just went off of what actually happened. I was very surprised, honestly. Uh, when, we, when, we, when we spoke privately, I, was, I thought that some of, the, some of the things that we spoke were actually going to be brought up here. And I was very afraid of that because I didn't want that because I didn't want that uh, what we were discussing to be 
focused on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I actually thank God that it didn't. Well, you're a man of your word, and I'm a man of mine. Uh, I'm actually glad that it went the way that I was looking forward to, and I and I appreciate for that. I appreciate that uh, that the focus didn't go to specific people, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that you guys were able to listen to me. Uh, Although I sounded very calm, I, I appreciate that you guys took some of, some of my rant, and yeah, that's it, really. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, we appreciated having you on. We appreciated your time. So, like I said, I mean, um, usually when we have people on here that are uh, people that I guess people wouldn't assume we would agree with or have civil conversations with. Um, we try to represent ourselves well, and you know this is the way that we've talked to other people. You know, back when uh, Drillbit was on the other side of the fence, I guess you could say. Um, you know, we had a civil conversation with him, Timbo Slice, Wang Lord, Lem- or uh, yeah, Wang Lord. Even he came on with the rest of the mods, Lemon Slice by all these different people. We were able to have good conversations with, and at the end of the day, um, it ends up being pers- uh, productive and something good for the community. So. Um, that's gonna do it. Let's go ahead. Let's wind down. Um, first of all, let's hear from Lester. Where can we find you, and what have you been up to? Not much. You can find me on Twitter on Anokopo and on YouTube on Anokopo, and coming soon Twitch TV slash Anokopo. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! All right, man. Well, I'm gonna be looking out for that. Next, we'll go to Encyclopedia Nomadica, the guy who's been doing. I just like to recognize this on air. This guy's been doing outstanding work, very, uh, very, very good work behind the scenes. But uh, you know, Mister Nomad, as always, always providing great information, great screen caps. We like to call him Encyclopedia Nomadica because he's always got everything. Um, where can we find you, and what have you been up to? Perfect. You can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was nope. on. Oh, wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Anyways, you can find me on Twitter, which is at the dark, at the dark lurker, and my YouTube is now Nomad Five One Zero. I recently. By the way, Nomad. Hey, Nomad. Didn't you get my my tweet last time about the the better improved uh, edited picture? Yeah, I saw that. You could have used it to fix up fix up the the, the Revan versus Fred. Uh, you gotta make. Eh, I'm just saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I just needed to put that out. I just thought um, I just thought my picture is a little more creative and suitable for that situation. So, but anyway, I, mean, I mean, I mean, less uh, crap, uh, pixely. But yeah, go ahead. But anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> uh, sorry, YouTube, sorry, my, my sorry. YouTube, my YouTube is Nomad Five One Zero. I recently got my other channel shut down because of some. Stupid BS. So, mm. anyways, I'll just put it in the chat, and that's my new channel. I'm gonna try to upload, re-upload all my other shit there. So, sure to I guess, stay tuned for that. Beautiful. We will. Next, we will transition to Mister Superior Artist. You can follow me on Twitter at badassartist100. You can um, go to my YouTube channel, The Superior Artist Ten Thousand. And I'm not really doing anything currently except for the charity stuff. So that's pretty much it. Beautiful. We uh, will transition to Mr. Retrospective Gaming himself, Mr. Che. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Retrospective PC, and you can find all my shit on there. And what about on uh, on YouTube? Including including the Che tries it video. All right, well, Che died. We move on. We'll go on to Mr. Legal Loophole himself, Mr. Loophole 572. You can find me at on Twitter at Loophole 572. You can also find me on YouTube, Loophole 50. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, just find me on Twitter. That's the only place. Well, 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 well. What about your Twits? My Twitch, you can find me twitch.tv backslash Loophole 572. Ah, Beautiful. We'll move on to the man behind the scenes and the man that makes 
this podcast appear on all of our screens, including YouTube, which will be later uh, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mr. Moogle Master 102, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, you can, for starters, you can find my YouTube that's not suspended. Shots Ooh, fired. Hey, shots fired. Shots fired. Oh, yeah, but you can find my YouTube on your Moogle Master 102 where I do Let's Plays. I don't do DSP videos, so that's probably the reason why I don't get suspended. But um, I'm currently doing Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and No More Heroes 2. No More Heroes 2 hopefully will be wrapped up by this week. You can also find me on Twitch under Moogle Master 102, and you can find me on Twitter under Moogle Senpai. And yeah, uh, I just post random shit, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'd like, under I'd all like... the hate. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Zayn. Under all the hate mail that you uh, received for uh, what was that One Direction thing? Holy crap! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why would you even bother? <laughs> Oh man, that's that's a whole different tale for later. It's like, why would you do that to us? I oh, just those I those fans. You just man, don't those, understand. Zane's those, here. Those what about One are... Direction? What about One Direction? What are you guys? Talking um, about? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, that's that's Moving pretty on. much it. We'll get out of here, Mister Drillbit. What uh, what do you have to say for yourself, sir? I think you muted. Good answer. Drill. Drill, Joel. <laughs> Real. Joel. All Real. right, well, you can find him at Drillbit with 1L777. And uh, I'm not aware of his YouTube channel, if he has one or not. But he's also uh, doctoring up a nice little uh, little thread. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll give him a little bit of support after because he's having just a little bit of tech issues. So after the podcast, we'll be able to walk him through that. Not live on the air, obviously. We'll move on to our expert witness, the man who has assisted us in breaking this story for the benefit of the community and the guy who, at the end of the day, um, you know, had the courage to step forward. And I would say single-handedly helped us. Um, you know, bring this story to light. So we very much appreciate that. We just met him earlier this week, Mister Doc Starker. Doc, blah. Dark Stalker Forty Seven. Thank you, Revan. Dark Stalkers Forty Seven. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, uh, thanks very much for having me on. I was uh, glad to be here, and uh, I am on Twitter as uh, Make or Break Eighty Six. Perfect. As always, our guest callers, our fantastic guest caller for tonight, Mr. Cyanide Caesar. What can we expect out of you, sir? Well, you can just f- find me for uh, vague nonsense whatsoever. I mean, just the normal stuff, um, mostly about SOK, um, sometimes about other stuff as well. Don't really talk too much. Um, I'm at uh, Cyanide C- On Twitter, I'm at Cyanide Caesar. Um, that's pretty much it. Beautiful. <laughs> our illustrious guest, Mr. Revan, where can we find you, good sir? Uh, you can find me either in the forums, working mostly the tips and health section, or you can find me better at, at Revan Kusanagi. Perfect. Our, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. I, I just cut you off. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Revan Kusanagi is R-E-V-A-N-K-U-S-A-N-A-G-I. You might have to link that in the chat. Yeah, I might as well do that. And you can find me. On Twitter at T I H Y D P, the acronym for This Is How You Don't Persona. As a matter of fact, you can also find me on YouTube, user slash it's Fred Fox, or you can type into the search bar Fred Fox and you can find my, uh, my channel. Haven't been doing very much lately, but uh, with these charity challenges and stuff like that, I'll have more content. One of the charity challenges, in fact, is doing Being a Man Part 3. So, uh, such a man. <laughs> Can't wait for that video. we'll see what happens. I just want to break this, uh, very quickly. I was, uh, I was describing to Che, this guy from this TV show. So, uh, a few years ago, my girlfriend at the time really liked the show 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. It was sort of like a celebration for people that made it through their teen years without actually having a kid and they wanted to see, you know, you know, look at that kind of shit. But, anyways, there was a character on there named Gary that looks a lot like Phil um, and there was <laughs> there was also a girlfriend of his named uh, Amber so Amber and Gary they fight a lot and they beat each other up and all that kind of stuff and I had the idea to dub it over and to do like a fake <laughs> Phil and Leanna sort of thing um, so uh, that I'm gonna you know prepare for I'm gonna try to script it out and uh, I'm going to be doing 
uh, I get I don't know what to call it, like Phil and Leanna in five years or something like that. But anyways, it's gonna be great. I'll put out a screen cap to sort of show you guys what I'm talking about, and uh, I'll be looking through different scenes to try to figure out the best way to do that. Um, I don't know if I have to like mirror it to put it on YouTube or if I should just put it on Vimeo, but that's what I'll be having soon enough, as soon as I can. You know, work. I've never done a video where I've dubbed over the audio or anything like that. I know that's popular, but I will try that out. We'll see how that goes. That's it. That does it for us. Thank you guys very much for coming here. We had record attendance. We very much appreciate it. We very much appreciate your guys' support helping us with this issue, helping us uh, bring you guys all of this different stuff. We wouldn't do it without you guys. Thank you guys for helping with the charity. We'll continue to pump out great goals. As always, we love you. Go fuck yourselves. Have a nice day. Yes. Peace out.